But hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventures through Digimon Survive. Last time that we played, we managed to get Falcomon and Minoru back together as being partners. But then... No, we just got, uh, yeah, that. And then the next day, we were like, uh -huh, we're gonna go and invade the bad guys. Like, next day in-universe. Uh, well, we went into the tunnels, and Miyuki got captured. And following that, it's basically confirmed that Renamon was disguised as Haru. And the professor is an old, uh, an old Haru. Who just forgot about it all due to various factors of, like, trauma and such. But let us get along, little doggy. Where we have to go invade the bad guys, save Miyuki, and try to not let anyone die. We're finally here, but it's strangely quiet. We're not going to find the entrance just standing around here. They're coming in out. They're coming in and out. We probably we can probably sneak our way in. Let's check it out. Akuma, look! We can get to the factory through here! Wow, well done, Agumon! You found the entrance! It looks really big inside. It's a frickin' metalworking plant from the looks of things. So, it's a factory, at the very least. Very big. It might be dangerous. Should we split up? Yeah, this is their base. We have to assume there'll be traps. If we're all captured, we're done for. And at the same time, if we split up, makes it easier for us to get et. All right, my, I don't get any say in this. You're right, let's split up. Fine, but no heroics, okay? Even if we find Miyuki and Piedmon, don't rush an attack. And that's another thing. Frickin' Piedmon was wearing an outfit. They're like, was it really such a big thing that they had to hide who it was? We have to hide the existence of Piedmon. We have to make him look mysterious, and then he's still a clown. Yeah, let's search the area. Exploration! Ha cha cha! Oh boy! Oh boy, oh boy. I don't really think you need to have the thingy thing unlocked. Thing come up all that much. Oh, then we get to fight a Chromon and the metal guy. Okay, but yeah, time for fear. Let's see. Factory interior, factory in general, or like exterior, I should say. Floor one, floor two, so we should probably just go in order, and I think that's what they're expecting. That's Minera. Did he discover anything? We just got here. Pipe. There's pipes everywhere, all of them old and rusted. It doesn't sound like anything's inside them. I doubt they're being used anymore. Also, I just gotta say, freaking hilarious that nobody has noted the disappearance of Haru. It's like, nobody cares. An empty metal can. I'm glad it's not full of gasoline or something. Yo, Minoru, what it be? Did you find anything? No, we just got here. Nothing yet. We both sense something suspicious here. Piedmon? No, something different. Different? But we can't see anything. Oh yeah, Takuma, check things out with your camera. Oh yeah, that's also another thing. I'm definitely gonna worry about poor... Like, uh... Renamon. Sometimes you can see, like, flashes of things, but it's probably just like, oh, Falcomon to the side, glitching over. <coughs> Mature three of them? It's our evolution energy, and so much of it. <coughs> but you don't even use it. What? That's great! If we can use this power, it might be ready for Piedmon. Well done, Falcomon. I knew we could count on you. <laughs> it was nothing. Don't be so humble. It's really impressive. Minru and Falcomon are back to their old selves. Yeah, or maybe even more so. But it was good of Falcomon to find a reason to check things out. And it was Minru who suggested we use the camera. Let's 
save, just to be safe. I should probably say thank you too, Minoru. Thank you too, Minoru. You should just have using the camera. <laughs> yeah, well, anyone would have. We've been using it since we got here. It's only natural to think of it. Are you embarrassed? He is. I'm not embarrassed. Hmm, but much like perfect diddly dee. Does that mean that I could like do it on anyone? Nope, I can't select any of them. Just you. But I guess not. I really should take a look at my items more. Let's see. Is it in... We still have Gigi Mom's key. And a bag of nuts. What could this be used for? I do not know. Well, let's see. Hmm. Surely it would be here. Maybe it's technically under enhancements. Oh, I guess it would be here. Perfect enlightenment slab. Evolves a free monster to ultimate. And mature to champion. So if we really want to, like, bolster our forces, what can you even evolve into? Garudamon. Or another Chromon. Lol. But considering that we typically only have uh, a specific amount of Digimon with us per go, <laughs> we can freaking get... Also hilarious. Would you like the thing that ate your friend? And a Fangmon. Well, let's go ahead and use it. Then to Marine Devimon, Arukinimon. Would be interesting. But well, we already have a Myotismon. Kind of interesting that there's an overlap to a certain degree. Let's at least see what our options are. Come along, Tentamon. Probably never going to use you, but we might as well have you. Lol, he has the same voice as Growlmon. Good for you. Could always evolve you. Hmm. Because he has different evolution paths. Which is interesting. Which is probably why I should have grabbed them more. But I wonder what those, like, what your perfect versions are. If they are of circumstance, I still really want you, but I don't have the ultimate perfectness. But yeah. Interesting, interesting, if we just want to have more. Well, let's go to the factory proper. I don't think we've ha seen that CG before. Otsaki, did you find any clues, I wonder? The enemy's stronghold is strangely quiet. Are they hiding in, are they hiding in waiting for... Hiding in wait, brain was expecting words and vastly assumed. I'm sorry, Takuma. I haven't found anything yet. I'm checking with the camera, but nothing's standing out. It's fine. Don't rush. You're right. I need to stay calm, but the panic never goes away. Really? I couldn't tell you were panicked. I'm impressed, Saki. Impressed? With what? Compared to the beginning, you're becoming less emotional, less of a victim. You've learned how to think more calmly, to take stock of the situation. You think so? I didn't notice. She really is different than she was before. She still speaks casually, but I can see how much she worries about everyone. She doesn't seem to be aware of the changes, though. I have no idea what to say to this that would be the diddly dee. Maybe she grew up. What is the right things? As I think she always was kind. And she wasn't really selfish, I'm gonna say. Maybe she grew up. You seem a little more grown up. At ease with yourself? You seem to be gentler when uh, you panic or get upset. Right, she's much more mature. Even though sometimes she doesn't like to let on, she cares about everyone a lot. She's worried about us all, I can tell. Huzzah. Really, I'm not sure what you mean. 
As long as people stop getting the wrong idea about me. No items, but we don't really need them. And you know what? I'm going to start, like, saving before I enter a place. I think I did that, but... Bleh. I'm gonna... Talk about it. Because worried, worried. And nothing else. Let's talk to Mew. What's Kuma? Look! Ta-da! What? What is that? It's the shredded cable I just found. It's like a snake. Were you scared? This is a terrible time for surprises like that. I'm sorry, Takuma. Mew was really scared, too. Siakuman, that was a secret. But she tried her best to pretend there was nothing wrong. She's battling her fears, so go easy on her, okay? Uh, just tell him everything, why don't you? Well, Mew's doing great, solving problems all on her own. I'm trying to not ask for my help, even though she's still so young. Once again, no idea what to say here. Maybe I'm proud of you? How's something else? I'm proud of you. Don't say it like that. It wasn't anything special. Really? You're kicking butt and taking names! Right? That was so scary that I think I'm finally back to normal now. But really, it was nothing special, guys. I don't want to be a burden on anyone. I just want to take care of myself is all. You can ask for help, though, if it's too scary. we got to have each other's backs. <laughs> Thank you, Takuma. Let's get Mew let's go get Miyuki back. That way we can all go home with Siokamon and Agumon too. For a moment I'm just like uh, 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 uh. fear. I just wanted to go in order. Should I talk with the professor? He's literally the only answer to this equation of game. I thought it was a go in order thing. Have you found anything, Takuma? No, nothing. Oh, well, I'll say it again. We have to be very careful. If we get hurt or are defeated, there'll be no one to help Miyuki. About that, why was she targeted? And why are they calling her the Maiden? They seem to see Miyuki as special somehow. Maiden. That's not a word you'd hear all that often back in our world. You'll sometimes see shrine maidens at major shrines selling amulets. Yes, but that was not the original role of a maiden. Maidens were said to be in service to the gods, appeasing them with music. And maidens could hear the gods. The gods would possess them to, so to, sp to speak to the world. The gods? Uh, this world is gods? Could Miyuki be a bridge between those gods and the creatures here? Are the enemies expecting her to intercede on their behalf? And why would they need her to do that? So they want her to sing for them to hear the words of the gods? Hmm, hear the gods. Was Miyuki abducted to hear the voice of the gods? What? What? Well, maybe Miyuki has some special maiden-like abilities. To hear the voice of the gods, and if the enemy knew that about her? Maybe I'm just imagining things. No, that, that might be it! Listen here, Takuma! Back home, I was investigating the Kimonogami faith. At the time, there was something about a bloodline that served the Kimonogami. A family who served the Kimonogami, and that family's name was Minase. And my sister's name is Miyuki Minase. Miyuki Minase? Yes. Oh, yes. You've helped me to start remember. That song Miyuki was singing, the one I was humming but had forgotten about, that was a traditional sacred song for the Minase family. Miyuki was... A maiden in service to the Kimonogami Shrine? Who's there? She wasn't that special. Haru, what happened? You're a mess. It's not important right now. I need to talk about Miyuki. She was just a girl afraid of being alone. She was neither powerful nor special. That was why I promised to help her and to always be at her side. And yet she always sang that song. That sacred song. That song tells of how two separate worlds become united once again. It might be that her thoughts beckoned you to this world once more. It might be that her thoughts beckoned you to this world once more. What the heck do you know, Haru? I can't tell you. You need to ask that old fool there. But I will say this. I refuse to accept your reappearance at this moment. I and no one else will rescue... I and no one else will rescue Miyuki. Kind of funny that Renamon decided to put on the costume again. Uh, wait, Haru? 
Was I summoned? Summoned again? I... Ah! Pull yourself together, Professor. It's fine. I'm fine. Is it true? Is Muki really my... Why have I forgotten this? You're very pale again, sir. Let's sit down for a bit over there. I'm sorry. Just a little more, and it will all come together. When all the broken fragments in my brain can reunite into a single thought, I will at last have an idea how to get us home. But why? Is it something I have to remember? Is this feeling a part of my returning memories? Or is it fear? What am I so afraid of? Calm down, Professor. Just rest for now. Yes, you're right. Let me rest here for a bit. Professor, the final battle is nearly upon us. Without you, we can't win. You have to take care of yourself. You're right. Thank you, Agumon. But my mind and body need a rest. That's very interesting. We can go free battle, but I'll go, let's check and see. I should do Owie. And, hmm. Owie and Kaito. Let's do Owie first, then Kaito. I forgot to say before coming in. Fear. Mega fear. What even are these giant switches for? Hey, Takuma, look at this. A mark on the wall. It seems more recent than the other damage. Piedmon might have left this. He could have scraped the wall. Even still, you did a great job to find the little mark. Well, I have to give it all my all. I'll keep looking. This praise confuser, that doesn't seem like an embarrassed reaction. She found a great clue. I don't want to change her attitude, though. Should I ask her if something's wrong, or should I leave it be? Hmm. Hmm. I'll say, keep it up. You're doing it. I wish I could say, thanks, Allie. Keep it up. Keep spotting these clues, and we'll definitely find Miyuki and Piedmont. Hell yeah! You're right. I'm glad I'm helping. But I'm sorry. Now's not the time to be happy. Anyway, does this mark make it look like they're heading north? To the north. I can see a building there, but we haven't found a way to get there yet. Let's look for one. I'll be quick. Wait here. Owie. Let her stay focused. I'm sure the fear is keeping her moving like that. All right. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's fine as long as the fear pushes her on, but I'm worried she'll explode. Go talk to Kaido. Hey, there's Kaido. Has he found anything? I wonder what's over there. Ooh, a battle. Let's murder. Let's fight. Let's kill. There's a lot of Digimon here. Considering that there's so many over here, I should put my strongest Digimon on this side. Interesting, like, music. And also there's a chest in the middle, so... Oh, there's double chests. Well. Gonna go ahead and digivolve all the way. Go ahead and do a smash from behind, little man. Hmm. Or can we annihilate him? Eh, it seems like a waste of SP for now. Squawk indeed, little man. Squawk indeed.
Hmm. Let's see. We'll move up a little bit. Because you have destruction cannon. That's scary. Guess I could send you to deal with the box. Oh, I guess we need do need flying to get that. Alright, but we'll send you over to get the box. Annihilate all foes. So I'm not too scared of you, because you're a vaccine type. Just ultimate everyone. Don't give him a single edge. Smickety smack. And that'll allow the boy to fly about to the second while these two are dealt with. We will annihilate these fools. Annihilate these tools. Round two, fight. Let's see. In all honesty, I think I will defend. I'm just wondering. Nah, it's defending anyway. Let's see. Nope, too far away. And also defending, so it wouldn't really matter. Yes. Once he is engaged in battle is when it will matter. Should have moved closer. Diddly darn. Hmm, let's see. I think we'll just stay and wait for a better opportunity because the other guy is over there and he's a danger. He's a danger boy. <laughs> Not as dangerous. Oh, you bitch. But at least he attacked. Jerk. I wonder what that status effect is. Can we check? Wish I could check. It's an icon. And it looks like it's confused, so... Annoying, it looks like. Go ahead and blast. I hate ones that are just like, and we're just going to steal your turn. Those are just aggravating. Do lots of damage. can annihilate him. Annihilate the boy! Just get him out of the way. As Myodismon slowly makes his way back to the battle.
I loathe status effects. I'm just gonna come out and say it. Fuck status effects. They're just annoying. They don't even seem to do much except be annoying. I'm just gonna defend. Schmiggity schmack him. And then probably run away to let my Otisman have some go. Unless it just kills. It just kills. Why are you so slow, my Otisman? Frigidine fine. Or actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna come over here and box this guy in and waste his time and wait for that status thingy to just bugger off already. It's aggravating. Your type is also fly, so I guess we can have you moving towards the box instead. Yeah, what is with these status effects that are like, we're gonna waste your time. Utter aggravation. He is still goddamn frozen. No, no, finally. It was five billion years. And it always seems to be on the ones that I want to move. Since there's only like one enemy and he's gonna be annihilated in any at any moment. Once I get that chest. Wait. Okay, let's move here. Almost there. One yes. more turn. But why not just move everyone? Have everyone walk around. Stretch them legs. missed because you suck. Let's see, how much damage will this do? A lot, for the love of God, don't crit. Thank you. If it crit there, I was gonna get angry. I was gonna get very mad. Open Sesamoon. We got a giant mushroom. Good, good. You have been a thorn on my side. Die. Be gone, Satan. At least everyone is leveling up. We got more items. First things first, I should probably go in and see. We have Sincerity Melon and a, so health and SP. Who needs health the most? Quite honestly, probably you. I seem to throw you into danger a lot. Then who needs SP the most? Seems to be you. Sure. 
gonna save so I don't have to do that battle again. And talk to the boy. Is that Kaido? He's keeping an eye out from you as he searches. He is worried after all. Hey, how do things between me and Mew look to you? What? Besides the fact that you're getting along now? Come on, you can be an. Uh, you come on. You can be honest with me. Not sure about that. He'll probably be mad if I'm too honest. The way Kaido worries about Mew is almost like how a parent worries about a kid. It's just not normal. Hmm. She's very important. It's obvious she's very important to you. Alright, bye. You want honesty? I'll give you honesty, ma'am. Does he not trust her? Hmm. It's probably just... Hmm. I think this one is the more dead. You don't seem to trust Miu, Kaido. That's probably why you worry about her. Trust? She may be small, but she's doing her best through all this. And yet you seem to treat her like she's powerless. I asked you to be honest, but I wasn't expecting you to be that brutal. Sorry. Don't apologize. You're right. To be so worried about just one sister in such a dangerous world? Is that normal? Well, I guess you have a point. I'll have to face her if we get back home. Kaido? Interesting. I wonder what he means by face her when they get back home. Uh, fine. You're overprotective. You act <laughs> Once again, would be nice if the game gave me just like the first sentence. Because if it let me know you're gonna say that, I was like, yeah, go for that one. You act like your dad. I think Mia finds it annoying. You're always in her business. Yeah, you're totally right about that. Huzzah. And it looks like we have another actually go and talk to people moment. So do we want Mew or Saki? Let's see. Saki is at 56. We should probably do Mew. Bring her affinity up a little bit more. Because I like her. And I'm worried that like the affinity might, if it's too low, she'll die. That's paranoia. Working in my brain. Is that going to be another fight? That's probably going to be another fight. It's going to be another fight, isn't it? That shadow, that shadow. Let's go jibbity jumping into a war! I should probably take a look at my items more. I'll try to get you to the middle as fast as possible. Let's see. It's the same setup as last time. The same exact liberty. Liberty da. Once again, I'll send you after box number one. Let's -a go. Start bat. And they get basically a free instant turn because I don't get to go first. Like, I can't, like, start Digivolved. Hmm. Slightly aggravating, but... Oh, wait. I can talk to these fools. Who do I want? I could try and talk to... Windgomon. Get them out. Even if it would be very freaky to have them on. Let's talk to Windigomon. Did you know taking a nap after stuffing your face? Oh! Uh, stuffing your face? You'd know about that, wouldn't you, Windigomon? Yeah, it's the best. I'll pulverize ya! Nice, a tough one. 
Great, now I have to be really lucky. Anyone else just gets in my way? I'll let it simmer down. Hell yeah. I don't really... Just give me items. Let's see what you got this late in the game. A big bandage. Okay. And you're out of the way. Good for me. I will take that. I will tickety tack that. Annihilate this fool. He's alive! And you get defensed. Cool. Well, honestly, since you're not going to actually go to attack, let's not even bother digivolving you. Would be kind of a waste, all things considered. Let's see. Hmm. So yeah, let's actually just move up one, kind of force him a bit closer while still being out of the range of the other guy. I'll just annihilate this guy so we can move on to smack the other guy. Death growl all you want, you are dead. I laugh in the face of your deadness. Hmm. Let's keep together. Just keep it simple. We'll be going after the boy, so we shall head that way. Yeah. Head to the box. I should have moved forward. I am a dumb, dumb little man. I didn't even get that much gain on him. I am a dumb, dumb little man. Just more choice ribs, but hey. Never know when we might want... SP. Wait, I know. We'll actually come here and use our big attack for a giant mushroom. Hell yeah. Stats. Destroy the boy. No side attack for you. They can just do a normal attack at that range. Monster. Yeah, you're not going to play into anything. Let's go ahead and blast him. I'm coming for you. I'm very fast. Smack him. Blast him. Blast him. Smack him. Smish him. Smadal him. More 
level ups for everybody. More melons and health. And once again, we'll go ahead and see who needs health overall. Quite honestly, still think I should give you health. As for the melon, I shall give melon to you. And now we shall save, just to be safe, out of fear, and we will talk to the Mew. Mind if I say something, Takuma? Hmm? What? Would you mind looking after my brother? He looks like he's ready to explode any second. I can tell by the look on his face. Sure, okay, but why are you asking me? I was thinking of watching him myself, but... Well, he keeps looking at me. I don't want him to start getting suspicious. Why can't they just get along as brother and sister? I don't have any reason to turn her down other than the bad timing, really. Hmm. I think let's both watch him. Seems like a good one. Let's both watch him. Like, leave it to me might be the better, like, obvious answer, but I think this one's good. It bothers me too, but I can't spend all my time just watching Kaido. We should both keep an eye on him. Hmm. But me too. Fine, if you don't like it that much. If you don't like compromise. Four eyes is better than two, but no. Leave it to me. I don't mind helping out. Can't have Kaido going off the deep end. Once again, would be nice if I saw first sentence. Because it's just like, the way things are worded might give me a bit more like, hmm, yes, that looks good. If you're worried about him, don't you think he'd be happy if you stay close? If I did that, I wouldn't be able to complain about how overprotective he is anymore. Is that what's going on? The distance between them is hard to figure out. Oh yeah, I wonder whether the professor's feeling any better. I should go check on him. I better not find his body mangled by Garuruman. I will be very upset. Should I talk with the professor? He is the only answer. Takuma, do you have a second? Are you okay, professor? Yes, well, even when I try not to think, my brain won't let me stop. But never mind that. Look here. The debris in front of the wall. Doesn't it seem like it's been piled up? And there's a thin line in the wall. Yeah, I see that. There's a door. Yes, I think this might be a door. This debris has been moved. Maybe Piedmon wants to throw us off his trail. By sealing the door? Yes, that is possible. Takuma, Hagamon, help me move this debris. We're on it, Professor. I'm helping too. Three of us will make it easy. Once again, my Agumon voice is just never normal. God diddly damn it. I, ah, good. I almost <laughs> missed my water bottle. It wasn't in an immediate normal spot, so my brain went, Oh no, did I leave it elsewhere? Ah, I will die of dehydration. Water starvation. All right, let's go. Ready and... It turns out it's a bunch of Getsamon. Ah, we moved it all, I think. I took more effort than I expected. My back. But just as I thought, this wall has a door. And more from the angle of it, the door leads to that building to the north. We've looked and looked, but have not found Piedmon or Miyuki yet. They must have been past this door then. They have to be in that building. We should go check it out, but we need to let everyone know what we found first. Are you okay, Professor? Can you move? Yes, I'm fine. I'm sorry I worried you so badly. That wasn't a good look. I'm better now, though. I can move, no problem. Good. Oh, have you remembered anything? It's starting to come back. Different memories of my childhood. But the memories are still a jumble. I wouldn't know what to tell you first. Let me try and gather my thoughts as we move. We could let you rest some more. No, I don't even know if these memories will help us get home. And if that's the case, I prefer to use what feeble strength I have to rescue Miyuki. I can at least explain things better now. If we need any information to get home, I will tell you about it immediately. You'll tell me? You are wise and trustworthy. I would want you to hear it, yes. All right, Professor. There is one thing I can tell you now, though. A theory based on my memories. It's about the song that Miyuki here and my sister Miyuki Minase both sang. 
Get out of my way! Renamon? Oh, Haru, okay. Was that Haru's voice? Let's hurry, Takuma! But everybody else doesn't know where we are. Get out of the way, Gururumon! Miyuki's up ahead, right? How foolish you are. Are you still obsessed with that human child? As if a thing could, like you could understand. I neither understand nor trust humans. You know I was a betrayed, and yet you still expect me to trust a human? Yuki has done has nothing to do with the cold-hearted human who betrayed you. Of course you were betrayed. What did you think was going to happen? I thought you'd say that. What was your favorite human ever done for you? She's returned none of your kindness. You've earned nothing but pain and suffering. But no matter what becomes of me, there's no value in protecting humans. What's your point? That I should help you? I'm saying to reconsider your allegiances. Is the master worthy of your trust? Can you really save your world with a sacrifice? Does the master have such power? Is the master a god? I know you have doubts, Garurumon! Shut up! Shut up! You are only thinking of revenge! The world, the master, none of that stuff motivates you in the least. If that's true, then... Guys! Gururumon and Haru? Stand down, Haru! If you injure yourself anymore, then tell me what to do. Oh, it's you. I was hoping I wouldn't have to see your face again. Gururumon, it is you. After all these years. Gururumon, you said it, didn't you? That you don't trust humans, that we only want revenge. Revenge? Well, look, the one who you want vengeance on is right here. Kill him now and be done with it. What? But if Haru and Gurumon are looking at the professor, they want to murder him? I can't let that happen. Agumon, let's go! Please, Agumon, stop Gururumon from attacking! On it! Hang on, he's not attacking. Uh, why won't you kill them? You had a perfect chance! No, that's not... You're still confused. You don't hate them enough. Silence! You hate them enough to kill them, and yet you hesitate. You have no idea how your hesitation confounds the Master's plans! I said silence! You're really scared by it. You're provoking the dude. What do you expect? Lol. What he said? Shut up, all of you! Don't tell me about bonds, about destiny! You all still cling to it. Even my past self clings to it. It's all worthless! I will annihilate all of it! Well, great, Haru. Look what you've done. Now we gotta fight him. Luckily, he's champion, and I'm ultimate. Oh, and everyone's here. Kaido suddenly. Takuma, are you okay? You all came. We heard a massive argument. Of course we came. Haru collapsed? He's badly hurt. What did you do, Gururumon? He got in my way, but it's fine. I will silence you all. I'd like to see you try. Time to beat up Gururumon. Oh, I can only pick three, eh? I think I'll, hmm. Oh, I get to have three on top, so definitely gonna bring Ward Realm on. And there's a goddamn treasure chest up there. God damn it. I think there's a ton of fucking treasure chests in here! Luckily, he seems to be the one that has a specific range that he's, like, attacks from. Or, like, starts to come at you from. So, let's see. And there's a big one. Hmm. He doesn't need to worry about much, so my boy will be here blocking the gate. You'll go after the ones on the island.
you can go after the enemies here, as well as the box on top of the scaffolding. Still love this music in the battles. I don't think I've commented on it, but the music here is really good. Good, you don't, you're not blocking way, way too much. Thank God you didn't hit, because, dear God, if you were like, Yeah, I'm gonna block your path, meh. I would have been very annoyed. Go get the boxes. Oh, Kabuterimon, of course. It was a trap! Hopefully he'll be distracted. At least, Kawagamon. Oh, you're actually moving. He's moving. Just gonna smack him from the side. Don't. Thank God. If it stunned my Chromon boy, I would have been very, very annoyed. Quagamon, no go first. Oh, wait. I should actually... Let's see. Can he move? We'll leave that to the boy. You go up there, get the treasure chest. Okay. Actually, let's go here. Attack that, get it out of the way. I'll take you out in one shot. Giga Destroyer! Was that 3,000? Hell yeah. Suck it. My dude, you can't fly. Yeah, screw it. I'll let you come at me. Even longer, you'll kill yourselves with that. Don't you dare stun him! Because, like, the, the ability for it to stun my boy is, like, forever hor uh, horrifying to me. It's like, I don't. He's alone. I'm scared. I should probably actually use these, but they, they're not stats. <laughs> That's the big thing. Just not stats. Fine. We'll do the whole thing. Get it out of the way. Unsealing light. Sure. I just want it in my inventory. I want it in my room. Smiggity smack. And considering... Come fight me. Now we just need to get everyone down. And now he's stunned. Luckily, I think the main group should be able to handle it perfectly fine. Even Gururumon. Gururumon isn't scary. So long as we move properly. Yeah, I just I don't want to give uh, Kabuterimon... Easy access. I'll move here. Block. He'll slowly make his way over. You missed, you fool. 
Hopefully by the time we get over there, we can smickety smack. Like not swinging smack, but hopefully by the time we get over there, War Greymon will be in a better place. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do it normally. Let's play it slowly. And plus, Gurumon's slowly coming this way, so. Beetleborgs. Quick ship damaging my boy. This is get more hits in. Kill him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lol. Snipe from long range. And in all honesty, let's. Wait over here. Because the boy is coming. Oh lord, he's coming. And we want to make sure that he's not too ready for us. And plus, that Gazimon is blocking his path slightly. So let's wait for him to come to us a bit more. I find hilarious. Well, I guess it makes sense that we're all faster than him. He's a champion. Is he? Oh, for a moment I thought he was going to smiggity smack the Gazimon. All right, now I think we can start moving forward. Wait. I know. I need to get into a proper position that I can blast him with the big boy. Big guns. I've been a fool. I forgot the ultimate weapon of War Growlmon. I forgot his atomic motherfucking blaster. <laughs> I'll move slightly closer. Please don't budge. Or if you do, budge like that. Don't you dare. Good, it was from the front. Stay where you are. Hold the ground. Please don't mess up. Thank you. Well, actually, I can just do it from here. Hello, dear friends! Atomic Blaster, hopefully... Oh, it won't hit all of you. Oh, well. Oh, it does hit all of you! <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. And I think if I do it like... This. Let's stand aside and let us pass. We have no reason to fight you. I have no intention of stepping aside before crushing your delusions. They are not delusions. I believe I am bound to Labramon. You might not see it, but there truly is a bond between us. 
I still don't understand why I say it's a delusion. You know what? I'm going to let Agumon get the finisher here. Dang it, I don't think I'll be able to get the finisher. Because... Oh no, Giga Destroyer can hit. Giga Destroyer! Once again, hope there wasn't an opportunity to talk to him during that. Because story missions don't let you talk to Digimon. I got so many things. All-purpose ointment. And more diddly -dees. Damn it, no! How can weaklings like these? Garurumon. You really don't understand now, don't you? You finally understand now, don't you? What? There's a reason why you cannot access the full power within. You deny your own heart. You think that you were betrayed. You were hurt. But who was really betrayed? Are you sure you want vengeance? Your heart isn't in it, no matter how much you say you need revenge. Silence! Silence, silence, silence! He betrayed me. Without a doubt, he left me behind! You were lonely when you were left here, right? But isn't your loneliness proof that you cannot fully hate him? What? I don't know what happened, but did you consider how he must have felt? That's what I think. If you tell him how you feel, and if you hear how he feels, you might be able to understand each other. For us artists needs to share the hearts of the humans we're bound to. Get real. You know nothing. But why does my head spin when I talk to all of you? I think Gurumon is on the brink of a breakthrough. What happened between them, we still don't know. Gurumon really wants to hate him, but there is no real hatred there. Once again, would be nice if I saw the first sentence. Then again, I also think these are the ones that don't really affect anything choices. They're just, oh, harmony, moral, wrathfulness changes. He's on your side. The professor is on your side, Gurumon. Hatred is pointless. If you bury your differences, I know you can be friends again. You think you're so clever, but there's nothing more to be done. All right, enough. That's enough. I can't try to deny it, but I lost to the delusions of your bonds. <sighs> Haru seems to have fainted. Let him rest. We need to hurry on. Is it safe to leave him here? If we make it obvious that we're moving out, the enemy should leave him alone. Haru got too worked up and fainted. Let's keep him safe. Right, we can't leave anyone here. I hate having to say this, but we should just let Haru sleep here. Garuman, do you think... Do you know where they are keeping Miyuki? I've been defeated, so it won't matter if I tell you. At the top of those stairs in the back. Hurry now. Thank you, Garuman. Let's go, everyone. Go. You need to hurry. When the battle is over, you and I should talk about all that has happened, about your feelings. I want to hear it all, and I, I will make it up to you at the very least. I like that the characters are kind of complex. I like the characters. Oh boy, we're in the hell room! Oh boy, oh boy. Fear. There's the altar. Oh, the altar. What is this place? It looks really dangerous. Is this an altar? Takuma, over there! Well, that's just freaky. Miyuki's tied to the altar. Are they going to fucking pour molten metal over her? 
The special sacrificial ceremony is underway. You will not interfere. <gasps> Piedmon! He's like a creepy clown. You can tell how powerful he is just by looking at him, though. Piedmon is strong. Sacrificial ceremony? We can't let that happen. Give her back! Your voice lacks conviction. I can tell how much you fear me. His powers are immense, but we can't just flee! I don't know what this ceremony is supposed to be for, but you can't sacrifice one of us. The weakest dogs always howl the loudest. You are pitiful. But weaklings have their uses. We shall sacrifice you to the master as well. They're going to kill us too? Not just Miyuki? Why is a sacrifice needed? What's it for? To cleanse the impurities that spread across this land. The master wishes it. You ignorant weaklings! Curse your idiocy as you are consumed! Oh, we're just gonna fight him now? Oh boy! Oh boy! Fear! Oh boy, fear in my rear. All right, I need to take a look. Uh-huh, I guess you, oh yeah, because these can just go up. I honestly don't kind of care about the treasure chest, but we should, oh great, a Skull Greymon. And there's another treasure chest over there too. Hmm. All right, so everybody will make a way back kind of this way, except for Chromon who will zippity zoom over there. So Chromon will head there. Oh, that I have it. Is this who I want? This is who I want, yeah. Epic chanting. Oh, great. He's going to be a super speedy boy. So we... And he has a lot of movement. Well, that's utterly horrifying. Let me just see. Nope. Love the frickin' music still. Once again, I just hope that there aren't any surprise enemies. We'll make a big swath. I need to utilize the talk to uh, talk to the humans feature to get stat ups more. And I do not want to go forward because I don't want to trigger Piedmon. I do not want Piedmon to begin marching until all his friends are dead. I know it sounds freaky to be like, I want all his friends dead, but... I hope that's Rust. But I don't think it is. Like, some of it is probably Rust, but... Some of them's a bit dark red to be... Rust. Oh, sure. Death. Yes, please. Just keep back there. Don't bother us, Billy. Actually. Love the music! Love the diddly dang music. Yes. 
slowly coming for you, little man. Are you ready for the consequences of your actions, little man? Or however that data quote goes. Lol, you missed. You suck. Once again, I just hope that there isn't a, like, specific thing like, oh, time limit while you're doing this. I hope it's just a normal combat thing, because I hate when games do something like that. Where they're like, heedy ho, you were supposed to actually do something in a time. Well, ain't you a bastards. Honestly, I, you scare me more. The audio cut off because I'm fast forwarding is kind of hilarious with that. <laughs> but that does mean that enemy reinforcements will probably appear for each box, which is important to know. But luckily, since they spawned in, he should probably be able to go first his respective round compared to them. Sayonara, suckers! Well, unless I want to come, like, here and see how much damage I can do. Ah, oh, no, he's too high. Well, that's just silly. Yes. I'll let them come one by one. But yeah. Ooh, I should also probably take a check at his uh, stats. Okay, you have... Jerk. Okay, good, they are following. So we'll be able to annihilate them s nicely and slowly. Okay, but I have to know. What is your... Lots of health, lots of SP... And he's an all-rounder. What fun. Let's go ahead. Hmm. I'll, I'll just do normal attacks. And uh, once everyone is, like, closer together, we'll spawn in the others and annihilate them. Like about here will be good for the boy. But we'll wait till the next round and then we'll activate the dealie. Which will probably spawn more enemies. Which we can then hopefully annihilate. Again, that guy, he just scares me. No, not move. Attack. Anti-confusion crystal. Ah, it didn't spawn any, but it might spawn, like, on your turn. End. No, it didn't. So if it didn't spawn, there, the end. Let's try and make a good, uh... Like wall of defense. 
for the enemies to come so we can annihilate them as they come. Again, he just freaking scares me. And we can just, like, keep raising our own SPs together and heals. That's the thing about this, I think. It's a take this slow and steady. Take this slow and steady. More than anything, slow and steady wins this race. I know, probably not the most exciting-ish of gameplay. But we have a united front of enemies coming our way, and I want them dead. Don't waste any SP, we don't have to. Let's let them come to us and try to make the best plays we can using that information. Of course. Confusion! And they're just focusing her down, which is aggravating, but now we can commence our counterattack. Oh, the uh, confusion did not last. Do this! Because hmm, how much vertical does your thing have? only a one, so. Unless... You're the simplest, so let's go ahead and blast you some. You guys can handle them. Get rid of you. Go ahead and annihilate you. Bastard ran away. Again, he just standing there menacingly. Love that I get defense, regardless. Can I attack from here? I cannot. That would have been a cool, but... Kind of move here since you have lots of movement. See if we can kind of box them in. Oh, wait. You got destroy. Oh, wait, that's not gonna hit. I got too excited about. Oh, maybe I can hit from here. 
The answer was, fuck no. There's not much you can do, stay back. Let's see, can you hit? You can. You can attack someone from the side, because you're an asshole. that it can only do it uh so honestly there's not much you can do so go ahead and head back that seems just enough get out of here I don't know why I defended that way. I guess I just still feel like this is a danger, <laughs> com danger coming this way. I'm just very paranoid. I want to get rid of as many enemies as possible because. A uh, doubtless that he'll probably be like hee hee hee, more enemies for you to deal with. That will be annoying. God, you scare me, Paimon. Paimon is a scary bastard. Slowly and chop. Did he just asexually reproduce? I'll go ahead and smickety smack you some. Lol, you missed, because you suck. And he just, he has so much movement. That's the worst thing about it, too. Now we have a lot of SP to use. Dang it. I didn't even kill him. Your little ally friend coming out of nowhere, dead. You have no friends. Can I even hit him like this? I can't. Hilarious. I'm going to uh, err on the side of caution, because, again, he fucking scares me. We'll definitely want to do some healing for Cerberusmon. SP and health. Again, he's just like, he scares me. I don't want to get too close and... <laughs> Basically, I don't want him to start Albert whiskering his way over. Hee 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 ho ho ho, I'm gonna murder you. 
You are an annoying little bastard. If I move here, could I hit him? I repeat, annoying little bastard. I'm just going to block. Can you hit him now? Why can't he? Why is his thing so special? Why does he get special things? But not me! He knows what he's doing at this point. Again, every single time it kind of pauses. Fear grips me. Oh, and his defense went up. Joy. Because he's not going to care about you. Smiggity smack that. Antifreeze. We made a crystal out of antifreeze. Wrong button. Or not. Ah, uh, right button, but wrong area. Smiggity smack. Die. Alright, now we just need to get everyone together and do, like, group heals and SP restores, if that's a thing. And then slowly, very slowly, let's see. We have self-pack, restores HP. But is there a... Yeah, HP. So let's see, choice ribs, target. To all targets in range. Okay, so first thing, self-pack. Store. All right, and let's do a uh, rib party set because if this is the time, this is the time. Yeah, I think it's just safe. And now let's do a small party jaunt towards the devil. Wait, I should probably check and see what is his frickin' type. He's a virus. So yeah. Non-virus type, uh, base types. Stay back just a bit. I'll have my... most vulnerable stay in the back. All of my vaccine types will man the front lines. And we will do it very slowly. As again, a united front. Because he scares me. In fact, I think I'll have you stay quite back and Blossommon will get a little closer because she has decent range. Technically. Let's just... United front down here. Fear is gripping my spine. I'm worryful. Very, very worryful. Oh, we don't want to attack the thin air. My brain. I'm just getting very worried. We're on turn freaking 20 now. All because of my very cautious play. I am very worried. I'm 
very worried. Because again, we haven't even met their leader, their master. You're going to come fight us now, aren't you? No, he is not. Because we want him to make the first, like, real attack against us. So that we can get better, like, movement options around him. United Front is here. He is coming to smack. Oh, fucker. Fucking only 75%. Oh, you gotta go for it. What's your movement? And that was a free distance retreat. They will heal you. Hell yeah, that hit. Ah, he's too strong. I think we can make it. Wait, everyone, there's no time to get bogged down in a fight. Look over there. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to fight off minions going for her. The mist is the same as when Shuji disappeared. That mist is getting closer and closer to Miyuki. And we'll cover her soon. We have to do something. I won't let that happen. Miyuki! The professor's trying to save her? You can't do it alone, professor. Did you think I would allow you to touch the maiden? Don't die. Ah! <laughs> Professor, we have to help him! Be gone. Garurumon! Garurumon protected the Professor? But why? Garurumon, what are you doing? I can't forgive this old geezer. I can't forget my hatred. And so I can't allow you to die like this before you receive my hatred in full! So, you have joined the fools. Then join them in their fate as well. Become prey to be devoured by this world. Karurabon, please! Just once! One more time is all! Lend me your strength! For Miyuki, for Inamon, for you! I never want you to suffer ever again! Fine. Just this once. My fated Kimonogami, that the bond we once shared return to us one more time! Hell yeah. Grum. This is awesome. Where Garurumon or all the way? Where Garurumon? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's awesome looking, man. Hell yeah. Where Garurumon? He evolved with the professor? Let's go, Takuma! Everyone! We need to get to Miyuki before the mist takes her away! Hurry up and defeat Piedmon and rescue the maiden! Rescue Miyuki! We're on it! The mist hasn't reached Miyuki yet. If we beat him in time, we can still save her! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I need a big bandage. We can both big bandage him and send him back into the fight. 
And the problem is, uh, Piedmon is going to go first, and that's going to be very bad. Another big bandage for the boy. Get him right back in there. As much as possible. Of course, you get to go first because you're an asshole. Yes. I will take that. Probably gonna miss. Damn it. Had to try. Please have good movement. Oh, he goes on his own. Okay, good. Smack him. Smack him good. Damn it. But we have a lot of fools over there. Gonna kind of get closer in case anyone needs healing. Yes, run away. Target the boy. Oh, fuck. Why so many misses? Hit, please. Go for the big kill. Get out of here. Pummeled Piedmon achievement. Get out of here, bastard. Thank you, Where Gururumon, for taking that attack and not dying. And just look at all the shit that we got. It's great. Will he die, die, or will he still be there? That's the question. We did it? Did we beat Piedmon? We did it, Mew! We won! We won! He's still standing, though! That's amazing! You're incredible, Siakumon! You would have me kneel before you. Garurumon! Traitor! You want this world to end in darkness, too? Me? A traitor? <laughs> I never really believed in the master the way you did. I've been wondering, what exactly is this master? Right? And why would he need a sacrifice? And why do they call Miyuki a maiden? <laughs> you expect me to just answer your questions? Rotten loser. You lost! We could still beat the crap out of you. I lost? <laughs> me? I lost? You still understand nothing, ignorant fools! Why does he mean by that? Yo, Mew, get behind me! Trump card. What is it? The world suddenly shook. What is this? The has changed. I don't like this. But I beat him quickly. Ah, son of a bitch. No, Mewki! The mist is suddenly everywhere. It's much faster than before. Everybody, run! Hang on, Minoru. Mewki's still on the altar. Now to begin the ritual, O oh, great and mighty master, accept that which we offer thee, the sacrifice upon this altar of this child! No! Ryon showed you were enveloped by the mist and disappeared. If I just stand here gaping, we might lose Miyuki too. I don't want to lose anyone else. No one! It's God, Takuma! We need to rescue Miyuki! Yeah. Hang on, Takuma! Are you going to dive into the mist? Forget Miyuki, you'll die too! I can't just let her die. So you'll sacrifice yourself? No way! Right, Miyuki is my problem. We can't lose Takuma too! I know I might not make it back, but it's better than letting that mist take Miyuki. She can't even move! It's fine. I'll bring Miyuki back with me. Idiot! You're going to your death! Stop! Drama, drama. I'm sorry, everyone. But I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> that is art.
Maybe you just need someone of a brave heart to survive the mist and punch out. Maybe like Miyuki. Did this take us to the real world? No, but just... Oh, that was the empty altar. He's gone. This can't be happening, right? Takuma! Takuma! I couldn't stop him! I, I couldn't! Gurumon, hang on! Where are you going? Make no mistake, I haven't forgiven you yet. I did help you, but that had more to do with my disgust with the clown boy over there. Then, I don't know what's next. Maybe Jaws will find my maybe my Jaws will find your throat if we meet again. <sighs> my heart is still confused. I can't be anywhere near you yet. I'm going. Don't try and stop me. Understandable, boy. Find yourself. What's going on? How could Takuma and Agumon just disappear? And Miyuki and Piedmon. Will we pick up? Oh yeah, that's the end of the chapter, isn't it? No. Where now? Where are we now? Amongst the stars? What? Microbe universes? Where am I? It's too dark to see anything except you know the universe. How am I able to stand now? Which way is up? Which way is down? <laughs> Piedmon? Who's there? I want... Want... Not enough. What is this? It's like it's bubbling up from beneath the ground, that awful voice. I want... Want... What? Something dark and big is headed this way. Power. Knowledge, existence, soul, heart, bring them all to me. No? What? Don't stay there. Come here. What is this strange warm light? I know I've heard that voice before. It's Miyuki. Duh, we know this. Let's go. Let's see where that light is coming from. Also, Renamon was... N oh, yeah, I guess Renamon was knocked out as Haru, so... Mm. But still, I was kind of expecting Rinamon to jump in. I don't like the stains on the ceiling. What? We're back here. Wait, am I? What he said. Oh, come on. I'm so glad you're okay. Me too. Are you awake, Takuma? Miyuki? You can understand me. I'm so glad you weren't taken by the darkness. Yes, and I'm happy you're safe too. And Miyuki can talk now too! Yes, I'm sorry it was quiet all that time. But it took all I had. I wanted to respond to everyone, but I couldn't. The master of this world took half my soul, that's why. The master of the world? Your soul? That mist that enveloped you and me. That is one of the master's powers. I was taken by the mist so long ago, I can't tell you how much time has passed. For the longest time, he consumed my heart and will, always feeding off half my soul. But thankfully, half my soul remained mine alone. The master couldn't take it. That was the, the me that all of you met in the Kimonogami world. If Haru hadn't protected me, the master would have taken that part too. I see, that's why Haru was always by your side. And it's not just me. You're in danger just now too, Takuma. Do you mean that if I hadn't come to the light away from the darkness, you would have become captured, just as I was? No, I think it would have gone even deeper. All of your soul, life, and existence, gone. Oh, it really was a close call then. Thank you, Miyuki. You saved me. What do you mean? When I dove into the mist, my only idea was to keep you from disappearing. But now that I think about it, I had no real way of knowing what would happen to me. Not you, thank you for rescuing me. I'm so glad we're finally able to talk like this too. Oh, I'm the one who should be thanking you. Until now, I was useless to everyone. Even so, you risked your own life to help me. So I have to thank you. It's because of that. What? Oh no, the master knows where we are. We have to do something. Countless stars that shine so bright. Are you singing? Now? Sparkling ancient heat and light. Well, it's probably a music song that will like... Bash him away. 
We're being attacked? Something? I trust her. She knows what's going on, dude. Hang on, though. I've heard that song before. It's the same song the professor was humming. Is this the song of the Manasseh ma Maiden? May, may this world where friends are found Ghostly voices now resound It's the same dark space as before. Is the light getting bigger, though? Yuki, wait! I need to ask you so many things! Of the light! That is not a... I'm screaming. That is a kind of a scared, kind of... Dull look. The song, the worlds, are bound together once more. The maiden must not go. Her power, I must reclaim it. Power, knowledge, existence, soul, heart, all shall be my flesh and blood. She must not go! Part 8 Takuma! You sure you've got everything, Takuma? Mm. Yeah, Mom. I'm all set. Huh? What about the camp guy? Did you remember to bring an extra handkerchief? And it gets cold so quickly in the mountains, you'll need a both jacket and a coat. I've got all I need, Mom. I went through it all last night and checked again just now. Well, it never hurts to double check. Remember that time you were in second grade? You came home from the field trip in tears because you forgot to pack your lunch. Mom, that was years ago. When she starts with that story, she doesn't stop. I'll be late if I don't cut her off. Oh, and I don't want you staying up too late when you get there. And try not to stare at your phone too much on the bus. You'll get car sick. Yeah, yeah, I get it. One, one more thing. What now? I sewed a little good luck charm into your pants. Mom, that's so weird. Why would you do that? If you ever get in trouble and you don't know what to do, I want you to look at it, okay? She's so superstitious. Mom, I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh, Takuma, don't you know you'll always be my little boy? Man, I don't even know what to say to that. Whatever, Mom. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. I wish you wouldn't treat me like I was still five years old all the time. What's she so worried about anyway? I'm just going on a camping trip. I mean, sure, I'll always be her ki- Eh, my throat just did a bibbity for some reason. I'm sure I'll always be her kid. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to grow up. It doesn't mean I'll never be an adult. See you when I get back. Took on my weight. You forgot this. I missed something. Well, I'm pretty sure I got everything I need. It can't be that important. Sorry, Mom. I don't want to be late. What was it that you could have forgotten? What's gotten into her? She'd think I was. You'd think I was this. Uh, this was a matter of life and death or something. What could? Oh, that's odd. It's like her voice is getting further and further away. Takuma! 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 Is that really my mom calling for me? Do I magically pop out of the thing again? Takuma. Oh no, it's Agumon! Takuma! It's okay, mom. I got everything. No need to panic. Takuma! Takuma! Wake up! What? That's not my mom's voice. Sounds familiar, though. Why does it feel like I'm shaking? Where are we? Oh, amongst the lilies again. Takuma, come on! Whoa! Takuma, you're awake! Hooray! Hagumon? It's all that stuff of my mom. I guess it was just a dream. A dream? Takuma, are you all right? Oh, yeah, sorry. I got a little mixed up there. But, uh... Where are we? How'd we get here? It's the lilies again. I don't think we need to pan that much. There sure is a lot of red spider lilies in this forest. Where are we? It's me! All I know is we, we were here when I woke up, and you were lying on the ground! But why are we in this forest? And what was I doing before? Did you forget Takuma? Sorry, my memory's real fuzzy. You mean you forgot what happened right before we came here? Right before we came here. It's weird, everything's all mixed up in my head. I can't remember. What's the last thing you remember? 
Let's see, we went into the abandoned factory to try and rescue Miyuki, right? Right! And then, oh yeah, we fought Piedmon and we won! We sure did! But then Miyuki got swallowed up by the fog! So we went after her. And we wound up in some kind of music room where we found Miyuki. You got it, Tacoma! Turns out you did remember everything! I'm so glad! And apparently I did. It's all coming back now. I remember talking to Miyuki and she was speaking normally. I feel like she did something and then we were all covered with this light light. Ah, no, that's it. I guess I still can't quite remember everything. Maybe if I could ask Miyuki, she would know. Hey, that's right! Where's Miyuki? What happened to her? Don't ask me. When I woke up, everyone else was gone. It was just you and me. But we can worry about what happened later. First, we need to find Miyuki. Back at the school? But that would also be maybe like a construct. I don't know. Where could Miyuki have gone? I don't think she'd go be too far. Can we try looking farther out? No, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The trees are thicker that way, and you never know what might be hiding in the shadows. But something about this place seems off. Hey, what do you mean? I can't quite put my finger on it, but this forest... Something about it is different. It's not quite the same as I'm used to. Oh, yeah. I noticed something like that, too. So it's not just me. What's it, bother what's it that's bothering you, Agumon? Well... Oh? Huh? That sounded like... I heard it too! Tacoma! I came from over that way! What could it be? What's the horror? Tacoma! Look over there! there. It's Miyuki! 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 Oh. Where am I? Miyuki! Miyuki! Do you remember me? Uh, Takuma? I'm so glad we found you. Are you alright? You're not hurt or anything, are you? I don't think so, but what are we doing here? Honestly, right now, I'm just glad it sounds like you really are okay. What? Oh, I was afraid that maybe you'd lost the ability to speak again. You mean you were worried about me? Why wouldn't we be? After all, you're the one of our closest friends! Well, I'm so happy to hear you say that. And I've been meaning to tell you something. Thank you so much for being so nice to me and my brother this whole time. There, I finally got to say thank you. Was that clear enough? Yeah, of course. But I mean, it's not like you have to thank us for anything. I haven't been doing anything special. I just treated you how I felt like treating you. Yeah, me too! Well, I felt like saying thank you just now too. So I did. <laughs> we make a good pair, don't we? I guess we do. <laughs> you know, I've never had a chance to talk with you like this before, Miyuki. Really? Wasn't she talking like this in that other place before we came here? Well, we didn't exactly have a lot of time there. We just never had the chance to chit-chat. Oh, this does feel like a fresh start. I guess I should say, nice to meet you, Takuma. Right, nice to meet you too, Miyuki. Same to you, Agumon. You too, Miyuki! So, Takuma, Agumon, where are we exactly? Oh yeah, we shouldn't just be standing around chatting like this. Sorry, but I have a hard time remembering things from when I was out of it. I no need to apologize. And to be honest, we're still not entirely sure where this is either. But we do know there's something off about this forest. It's not normal. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. What was it that struck you about, uh, about this place being different, Agumon? I can't sense anything like this forest. In this forest like me or the others. Don't tell me we went back to the real world! Oh! You mean, nothing like you at all? Right! I can't even sense Falcomon or Drachmon or anyone else! So, what does that mean? I don't know either! If I can't sense Falcomon or anyone else, there's definitely something weird going on! Maybe that means we're f really far away from the others. Well, from what I saw, it doesn't seem like we're anywhere near the factory. We're probably still somewhere on that weird island, but it's strange. I don't remember any flowers in that forest we had to go through to get to the factory. Wait, that's it, the red spider lilies. That's what's so weird about this place. And in this world, red spider lilies only grow in one specific area. Does that mean we somehow wound up back at the school? That's what I was thinking. I, I understand you taking a bit to realize it because a lot of stuff has been happening, let's be honest. But fear. Uh, I hope that the group doesn't fall apart without me. No, that can't be it. The surroundings don't quite match up. Yeah, that's the real world! No. It, it can't be, can it? I mean, there's no way, right? Things don't just work out like that. I need to calm down and think this through again. Carefully examine all that I know, one thing at a time, like the professor would. Is there something wrong, Takuma? Did you figure something out? No, I can't be sure of anything yet. 
If you say so. So what do we do now, Takuma? Uh, right. I've been wondering about that, too. I don't s uh, see much point in staying here. But then again, if we just head out blindly and get lost, that won't help either. I don't sense any enemies nearby, but you think I should go see what's up ahead? But that would mean splitting up. Don't you think that would be dangerous? Mm, I guess it could be. What do you think, Takuma? Under the circumstances, our options are limited. We could stay here and hope the others find us. Or the three of us could take a look around. Then again, we could have Agumon be looking while Miyuki and I stay here. We should stick together. Look around together. Why is that? Is that wrathful? I feel like... Why is it wrathful to look around together? We should look around together. I don't want Agumon to get hurt. Mm -hmm. Look around together. I think it's probably best if we all look around together. Staying put isn't going to do us any good, and I'd hate to get split up. Plus, there's no sign of the fog nearby, so as long as we're careful, I think we'll be okay. What do you two think? You should know what I think. I'm with you, Tacoma. Yeah, I like the sound of that. So now that's settled, which way should we go? Hey, Tacoma, look over there. Huh? It's all lit up. Sure is. Funny, it was dark until just now. The light's shining in just that one spot, like it's showing us the way to go. She's right. It's almost like we're being guided down the right path. No, this could still be a coincidence. Either way, we need to get yes. moving. All right, let's head to the light. I am scared. I am scared. I am scared. What if we're in the real fucking world? That would be kind of bad. We follow the lightened path this far, but it's not some sort of trap, is it? And is it just me, or does this place look familiar? Hmm. What's on your mind, Takuma? You've been pretty thoughtful for a while now. I don't know, it's just... I feel like I've been here before. But it could just be my imagination. You see all these red spider lilies? Remember how they grew in the forest near that school? That might be why this place seems familiar. Really? I don't think I've ever seen this place before. I mean, it's kind of like the forest, but it's not the same. Huh? What's this strange sensation? If he's right... If this is really where I think it might be, maybe the place you're thinking of with the red spider lilies is somewhere else. There's only one other place it could be, but it's from before I met Agumon. Even before I met, found myself in that other world. That would mean, could it be? Do you really know where we are? I think maybe this is... No, it has to be. It must be. Takuma, what's gotten into you? Takuma, wait! Both of you follow me. If this is where I think it is, it shouldn't be much farther. Don't be the tunnel. Don't be the tunnel. Suddenly I find myself running. It's almost like my body's acting all by itself. I have to know. I have to be sure. And that needs drives me forward. Ooh, it's gotta be here. It's gotta be. Don't be the tunnel. 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 It's the tunnel. I knew it. I was right. This is the same tunnel. We came through here just to get to the shrine. And then we woke up in another world. Takuma, you mean, is it really true? It has to be. What's going on? What's true? What are you two talking about? I don't get it at all. What we're saying is, this might not be your world, Agumon. Huh? But if it isn't my world, then what does that mean? Where are we? Come on, we need to get through this tunnel. That'll clear things up for sure. I think we need to go back to the shrine. I think we need to head to the shrine. Wait! Tacoma, hold on! How long have we been gone? How long have we been gone? Is this really? I've definitely never been here before. <laughs> Yes, I remember this! This is the road that led to the shrine! That strange mist is gone! I thought it was too good to be true, but it wasn't! This is it! We're back! We made it back from the other world! Wait... What?! You mean this is the world where you and your friends all came from, Takuma?! That's right! This is it! Wow, so this is your world! It's great, Takuma! Yeah, thanks, Agumon! Well, I sure wasn't expecting that! You know, this place is kinda weird, but... I'm sure I got to go back with you to your world, Takuma! I'm glad you're here, too. I'm so happy it worked. Huh? Wait, what do you mean it worked? You don't remember what happened in the music room? The music room. Wait, now that I think back, 
Yes, I remember. You were singing a song and then all this white light starts to run. So either this means that, like, the digital world and the human world have, like, mixed and combined, or that means everybody else is still stuck in the goddamn other world and that's not good. Mm. You did that, Miyuki? With the other half of my soul returned, it looks like I managed to save you, Takuma. So the reason we're here right now is because of something you did? I wasn't sure if it would really work or not myself. Dang it, I'm taking a drink of water, but I didn't open it. Blech. This looks like it did, though. I'm so glad. Wait, what? This whole conversation is so unexpected. I'm having a hard time keeping up. If Miyuki brought us back to this world, that means she must know something, right? What she mean about half her soul? She mentioned that in the music room, too. Come to think of it, what was she even doing in that world in the first place? And more importantly, does she know what happened to the others? And the music just died. Why were you there? Why were you even in that world to begin with, Miyuki? Because I broke the rules. My dad said to never go near the shrine. That monsters would kidnap children. That children. That monsters who kidnap children would get me. He tried to warn me. But your dad warned you about monsters. What does that mean? Was he talking about the key monogamy? Anyway, I didn't have a choice at the time. We went there for a field trip, and then the fog. Horrible fog. Was it the same scary fog that we know? Yes, that fog appeared and oh, it was terrible. Okay, okay, stop. You don't have to force yourself to remember if it's too painful. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up any bad memories. No, it's okay. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. I feel so mixed up. I'm not surprised. After all, she was pretty out of it by the time we showed up. It's possible she went through a lot more than we did. But I guess that big takeaway is still that Miyuki is the reason we made it back. Now we have to think about what our next move should be. Katakuma, there's something over there! What? It's not Piedmon and his cronies, is it? Was I wrong about us being back home? Are we still in that other world? No, it doesn't feel like one of us. I think it's other humans like you. Oh, whew. I started to panic for a second there. But if you're sensing humans, do you think maybe it's the others? It does seem possible that it could be Minoru or Aoi or anyone else. <laughs> I'd highly doubt it. What do you think? I can't really tell. So it might be the others, or it might not. Am I really back in my world, or am I still in that other one? They should settle things once and for all. Agumon Miyuki. Miyuki, let's keep going just a little bit further. They're gonna freak out when they see Agumon, if it's real humans. Fear, fear. Or maybe it'll be- Takuma, look! Wow, it really is a human! I've never seen before! It sure is. Now there's no doubt about it. We're definitely back in our world. That's true, but uh- Miyuki? Is something wrong? Oh, no, it's nothing. Just something's bothering me, that's all. I don't know. She looks pretty upset. What could be bothering her that much? Miyuki, are you feeling okay? Yeah. Oh, is it Agumon she's worried about? Is she afraid what might happen if he's seen? Or maybe she's anxious about whether Minoru and the others made it here okay. Then again, she could be concerned about Haru. The others? Are you worried about whether or not they're here too? Hmm? Because that's been on my mind as well. But the three of us were the only ones in the music room, so... It's probably too much to hope that they all made it back to this world, too. I... I'm sorry. Oh, no, I didn't mean to imply that it was your fault or anything. That's right! It's not your fault at all! No, no, sorry, I was just thinking about something else. Although I'm worried about the others, too. Oh, I get it, Miyuki must be worried about Haru. That makes sense. So, when is it right now, hmm? Oh, you know, I've been out of it for a while and I've lost all track of time. It's kind of been bothering me. I'm pretty sure it's been about a week since we first arrived in that other world. I mean, we've been missing for several days now. I'm sure that's caused a big stir. This could be bad, especially since Mineral and the others still aren't back. I'll never be able to explain what happened with the others still in that other world. What am I gonna do? Takuma, we might have a problem. What now? Those people over there, they keep looking in Agumon's direction. All right, Agumon, you need to hide, quick! Why, Takuma? Remember how we talked about there not being anything like you in this world? If they find out, things could... If you find... Oh, well, if they find you, things could get real bad. But do I really have to hide? Just for a little while. Stay out of sight while Miyuki and I go talk to them, okay? Oh, all right, if you say so. But it better not be for long. Uh, I think we actually managed to take care of that before anybody noticed. <laughs> I think so, too. But you said you wanted to go talk with those people, right? What do you want to find out? First of all, I want to know what people of this world think of our disappearance. We've been missing for days, and that's sure to have caused some sort of commotion. Yeah. Anyway, let's see what they have to think about. Ah. Uh, maybe they're the locals. And they'll be nice and be like, Kimonogamy, we know about that. 
Time to pump. If we'd only obeyed this, we wouldn't have been whisked away to the other world. We ended up somewhere we really shouldn't have entered in the first place. Old, uh, oh, I can't talk to the old lady. So, man. What do you mean, have there been any reports of strange things going on around here? I mean, it seems like something's going on. Oh, it's been going on, all right. Looks like there's been quite a fuss over us, after all. Nope, I don't think so. What if the police ask us what happened? You see, a few students who came here to go camping were missing. Everyone's saying they might have been caught in the landslide. The police just left to meet with their teacher a few minutes ago. Just a few minutes ago? What's he talking about? How many days have passed since the landslide when we went up to the other world? What does this all mean, Takuma? I have no clue, honestly, but I guess the time passes different rates here in this world and in the other one? This world, the other one? What the heck are you going on about? Uh, nothing, just ignore that. Anyway, how's the shrine where the landslide happened? Is it holding up? Well, aren't you inquisitive, but I don't think they've finished investigating yet. The shrine was in ruins already, so they've been telling people not to go near it. The shrine in ruins? What? What's in Miyuki all of a sudden? Oh, it's been decades since anyone looked after that old place. Apparently it used to be quite nice. You never guessed from the way it is now, though. It's decades? What is it, Miyuki? Anyway, it's not safe to go there, so I'd stay away if I were you. Hey, I haven't seen y'all before. Don't tell me you're the missing students. Uh, we... we... Crap, now what am I supposed to say? It's not safe to lollygag around here, so get back to your school already. Everyone's probably worried sick. Back to school? What do you mean? Things were shaking so hard it started a landslide. Students even went missing. So all students who are still safe got called back to the school, apparently. I'd go too if I were you. And finally, the old lady. Who probably will recognize Miyuki. My goodness, are you children lost? Oh no, we just stopped to rest for a while. Is that so? Well, that's all right then, but many children do go get lost around here. These woods have so many confusing little game trails, and yet they come anyway. There's some sort of camp or something they have around this time of year. Ah, yes, of course. Those of us who live nearby always get worried when children are around. Only natural after all those disappearances. That would have been 50 years ago now. Disappearances? Oh, there was such an outcry. Who could forget? And the children were never found? Never. It was a mass disappearance. Even the famous Manasseh family lost a daughter. No, you don't mean... She was about the same age as that girl over there. Huh, she looks just like Akiharu Manasseh's sister, actually. Miyuki looks like a girl who disappeared 50 years ago? Didn't that lady say Manasseh? That's Miyuki's last name, too. What the heck's going on? Is it just by chance, or could it be... Excuse me, but, um, whatever happened to the kids that disappeared? Everyone in the village went out and searched high and low. They never found anyone. No, way. now that I think of it, they did find one little boy. That was all. Oh, wait, does this mean... Miyuki, what's wrong? What? Oh, uh, you're looking quite pale there, dearie. Are you okay? She really is pale. She hasn't been looking great since she heard what the lady said, but why? What was that noise? Hey, Takuma! Damn it, Agumon. Ah, Agumon! Ah! What do you use that thing? A ghost? A monster? No, it's just a stuffed animal, see? But, but I saw it move and talk all by itself. It's got a computer inside, like one of those stuffed animals that can walk and talk. Right, Miyuki? What? I mean, yes, that's right. It's all because of a computer. What's a coma? What's a computer? See, look, it repeats back what you say. Amazing technology, isn't it? I see. Technology's getting pretty advanced these days, I suppose. I have no idea what you two are talking about. <laughs> they even went with the adventure. <laughs> Brush off. Well, I guess we should get going. We know the way from here, so... Are you sure? Okay, then. You'll be careful now. Oh, that was harder than I thought, but she bought it. Yeah, she was pretty shocked. But by what, exactly? Hmm. By what? Come on, I told you to say hidden, Agumon. <laughs> Sorry, but you were taking your time, so I started to get curious. I guess Agumon couldn't help it. He's bound to be curious now that he's in our world for the first time. But if anyone else sees you, we're going to be in big trouble. Here, hold my hand and pretend to be a stuffed animal from now on. So all I have to do is hold your hand? Not quite sure I get it, but if you say so. Oh, jeez, please let this work. So where are we going now? School, I guess. We might be able to find some answers there. What about you, Miyuki? Are you okay with that? Yes, there's something I want to check on in that school. All right, let's get going. Yeah. Things are going to get bad. Things are going to get bad! Something about what that old woman's... Also, dude, put it together. Cherry blossoms are still in season. Pick it up! Something about that old woman's head bothers me. And the Miyuki's reaction. A mass disappearance, huh? 
Does Miyuki know something about that? Miyuki, is something wrong? You seem upset. Oh, it's nothing you need to worry about. Is it something you'd rather not talk about? Well, I'm not sure you'd believe me if I told you. We went into another world! I believe everything you see, Miyuki. Yeah, same here. Besides, you just came from another world. It doesn't get much more unbelievable than that. <laughs> I guess that's true. Here's the thing, Takuma. These things felt wrong to me since we returned to this world. Even though I'm sure it's where I came from, I don't recognize anything about this place. What are you saying? Look, this might be a weird question, but what year is it now? This year is 2020. That's kind of funny, because I think this game was meant to come out in 2018, then it got delayed, and then the pandemic hit, so that's kind of funny. 2020. So it's true. This really is a different time. A different time? What are you talking about? This must be a different era from the one I lived in. Huh? Could you really be from a different era? Is that even possible? And you're sure this isn't some sort of mistake or misunderstanding? It can't be. When I lived here, the shrine wasn't some abandoned ruin. It was a computer. I've never even heard of one before. It's all different. Everything's changed from the scenery down to the people's clothes. If you disappeared 50 years ago, that would have been 1980. They had computers in 1980. Then again... I mean, you had, like, cars. There was a television. Well, I guess computer might not have been a, like, normal, normal thing. There were, like, electronics. But, yeah, there should have been, like, electronic thingies. But maybe they didn't go by computer. Nothing is the way I remember it. So tell me, Takuma, what do you think is going on? But that can't be, can it? That would have to mean, is, is time flowing differently? What do you mean? It sounds like the flow of time in your world is different than this one, Agumon. We were in that other world for days, but here it's only been a few hours. It's also an entirely different era now that the, than the one I grew up in. Well, what, what am I supposed to do? But what does that also mean? Because if we were in there for like a week, and we come out, it's only been a few days. But for Miyuki, she went in 50 years ago. And for her, she hasn't aged. So she couldn't have been in there for even any time more than a year. And plus, she doesn't remember the time. Again, we don't exactly know how things work over there. And Renamon could have been doing things. Blah, 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 blah. Miyuki. She doesn't look too good. I think we better find somewhere to rest. Good idea. We're not too far from the school, so we can head there. Think you can make it, Miyuki? I kind of understandable. She has lost a lot. She's crying. Must be quite a shock to return to this world only to find it's not really your own. <sighs> we finally made it. That's funny. After all that time in the other world, now this school looks wrong to me. This place. This looks like where I went to school, only a lot nicer somehow. Probably another result of how much time it's been since Miyuki lived here. Even having made it back, I still feel like I have no idea what's going on. So what are we going to do now, Takuma? What do you mean? We came and arrested, didn't we? Yes, but there's still a lot we don't know. I was thinking we should look into things. You mean you want to search the school? I don't know about a search, but we could find a teacher and ask what's going on. In that case, we should probably have Agumon hide somewhere again. What? Again? I don't want to abandon the boy. Let's go find a teacher. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think we should start by finding a teacher. I'm sure they'll look for us after all. And maybe they know something. But if that's what we're going to do... Sorry, Agumon, but you're gonna need to hide. Again, but I want to stay with you, Takuma! Everything worked out before when I pretend to be a stuffed animal. I'm coming too. No, you're not. That trick isn't gonna work if any of the students notice you. I'm sorry, Agumon. Mm, fine, but you better come back soon. Okay, Agumon. You hide in the bushes on the more shaded side of the building. Remember, that stuffed animal trick probably won't fool the students like before. So you'll need to be careful and stay out of sight, okay? <laughs> it's kind of like hide and seek. Hide and seek, huh? Well, I can do that. I'll hide so good, no one will ever find me. We're not going to find him again. He's going to die. All right, now let's head inside and see what we can learn. Let's try to find his teacher. Oh! 
This is hurting me. Oh, I am in pain. Are you free? <laughs> I was joking. Free battle here. An unstable space drawing on our in our heroes. I, I feel <laughs> hilarious. Even while we're here, free battle. And let me guess. Hi. Still have access to them, I guess, because they're not dead. Well, let's uh, go to the classroom first. There's a timetable for what we're supposed to do on the site, but it's pretty rough. Probably because we had we each had to submit a more detailed schedule of our own. A guide to the landmark field work is written on the panel. The teacher said this is held every year and that students join from all over. This place is secretly famous among history buffs for all the rare landmarks. The landmark by the cherry tree is a nature-focused class, a farm experience. The rack is lined with pamphlets to showcase this area. Yeah, I guess understandable that we can't... But I can still pull out my camera! And they just have a bunch of fold-out chairs and stuff. Women's fashion mags, children picture books, and comics. There's nothing odd about any of them, and none contain any useful information. How dare you, Batman is the most useful information! I'd like to check the news or something, but the remote's nowhere to be found. Guess someone forgot to put it back. Mood! People just running off the goddamn remote. Is the digital world gonna invade like an adventure? Should try talking to the campers. Ah, you mean tall boy? Did you hear? The people who went camping have gone missing. For real? What happened? I haven't heard any details. The teacher's been running all over looking for him. And we're supposed to just wait here for now. Holy crap, this is worse than I expected. Takuma, they're talking about you and your friends, aren't they? Yeah, I think they are. The teachers and students have no idea what happened. Let's investigate again. It's weird to go on a camping trip and then just disappear. Maybe it's weird that you have very baggy clothes! I should try talking to the other campers, or eavesdrop. The teachers? They all went off somewhere. Maybe they're looking for the campers that never came back. There, there were a lot of them. A lot of them? Either they got caught in the landslide or they stuck around to check it out. Lots of people still haven't showed up to, to school. Some people left school to go check out the landslide, apparently. The teachers must really be freaking out over this. Miyuki, what's wrong? Uh, oh, it's nothing. I just surprised when that TV turned on by itself. Oh, yeah. Someone must have used a remote. Looks like it's set to the news. You mean now you can turn the TV on from far away? And wait, the image is in color. The picture's even nicer than the big one I saw on the electronic shop that one time. Remote controls and color TVs are things most of us take for granted these days. Sounds like a lo lot has really changed between now and when Miyuki lived here. Though I'm having the opposite experience. So it says it's today's news. But the date's the same as when we left for the shrine. So it's true. Hardly. But we need to get back to the digital world, my dudes! Because if we spend too much time here, another week will have gone by for them! And they can barely handle things without me. Yeah, but not for me. Apparently it's been ages since I was taken. At first I didn't think it was possible, but I'm sure Miyuki's not lying. Some of the things the professor told me. The photograph we found in the other world in that incident. The old woman said it happened 50 years ago. I feel like they're all connected. Could Haru and Miyuki have been swallowed up by the other world 50 years ago? My dude, the professor is Haru. Takuma, look! Huh? Digital monster in the real world? The location they're showing for this news story. It's not far from the shrine. It says several students go missing from the camp after a major landslide. So it did make the news. Oh, this is bad. This means someone could recognize me as one of the missing students. If they find out I came back but nobody else did, they'll ask about the others for sure. But how can I explain what happened? Takuma! What now? The story. The story, is there something else? Uh, the cable car looked... It's familiar. And the story's accident at a defunct cable car ropeway. I recognize that cable car. Do you think it's the same one? It has to be. Sounds like Miyuki is thinking the same thing I am. But wait, what's the next story? A abandoned factory collapses in landslide, blocking nearby 
So when things get destroyed in this world, they get added to the digital world? So cable car gets destroyed, cable car ends up in digital world. School ages and becomes decrepit, gets added to digital world. Factory gets hit by landslide, ends up in digital world. But what about the city? Part of city. Earthquake. Earthquake, probably. You recognize it too, Takuma? Recognize it? We were just there. That's where we fought Piedmon. I knew it. That must be what's going on. Wait, did you figure something out? A landslide at a shrine, a cable car accident, and a factory collapsing? What could it all mean? What did Miyuki realize? Isn't it all just a coincidence? Or could she have known something from the start? Isn't it a coincidence? Hold on, I don't know what make of all this. I feel like my head is spinning. You mean this isn't all just coincidence? You think you know what's going on? What do you know? Well, it's not like I have all the answers, but I'll tell you what I know. But first, I think we better go somewhere else. Get Agumon. Yeah, if, if we stay here, someone else might overhear us. And recognize me! Lol. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about anyone eavesdropping on us here. Right, so we'll start explaining. But you have to understand, this is all guesswork on my part. I think the world we're in right now, this world, and the one we got dragged to, the other world, are connected. That uh, makes sense, otherwise we couldn't travel between them. It, that's not what I mean. I'm seeing there's an accident in the world, and a corresponding event will happen in... So when the cable car was attacked... Okay, actually that makes sense. The cable car is attacked. Bad things happened. A fight in the... Wait, collapse? Does that mean that they... Really bad fighting happened? Oh no. Then a corresponding event will happen in this world. Hmm? That would explain those accidents we saw on the news just now. But how? Remember what happened with the cable car and the abandoned factory, Takuma? The cable car and the factory. What was it that happened to us there? We'd have got it. So that's what this is about. The site of the cable car accident is where Ryo died. Does that mean that somebody else died at the factory? So you're saying the two worlds influence each other, as if they were overlapping. To be precise, I think things happen in one and that world have an influence on this one. And there's something else those places had in common too, which could be more proof. Hey, they had something else in common, really? What else links those places besides location, a shared feature of both worlds? You mean the fog? Exactly. In both of those places, we had to deal with the fog. Whenever something happened, the fog would roll in and cover the whole area. So in other worlds, other worlds, bad things happen where the fog shows up in the other world. And then that has some sort of effect on this world too, is that it? I think so. That's terrible. The fog showed up here at this school in the other world. The others might still be there. What if something happened to them? And we're the only ones who know about this, Takuma. Which means we're also the only ones who can do something about it. Wait, you're saying... No, come on, you can't be serious. But I am. We're the only ones who can save them, Takuma. It's down to us. We have to go back to that other world and save them. But what can we do? We don't even know how to get back. Oh, but we do. Huh? You saw how my song was able to join the two worlds, right? It's an ability. Passed down in the Manasseh family for generations. I can join the worlds again. Wait, passed down in the Manasseh family? Wasn't that the family the old woman said lost a daughter on the mass disappearance? Yes, that has to be me. I thought so. But does that mean you and Haru crossed into the world 50 years ago? Apparently. So those two spent 50 years all alone in that world? That's crazy. Man, my head's starting to spin again. I need to stay focused on the big picture. We need to grab Agumon. Anyway, you've inherited the strange power that could take us back there. Well, let's say we did manage to return to that other world. What do we do about the fog? The master is the one who controls the fog. The master. The one who robbed me of half my soul. The same being who consumes children in the other world. And to think of it, Arukinimon and Piedmon did say they were offering for the master. So why did the master steal half your soul? Fifty years ago, when I was drawn to that world, there were many other children that were taken as well. So at first I thought it was like them, brought over by chance. But I wasn't. What the master is really after is the blood of the maiden. In other worlds. <laughs> well, I keep saying that! Worlds and worlds! Brr, tongue! In other words, he's after you. Right, the master covets the holy power I inherited as a member of the Manasseh family. He wants to use that power to satisfy a grudge that goes back hundreds of years. 
So this is all about some ancient grudge? This is all insane. Please, Takuma, I want you to help me. I want to bring an end to the Master's hate. Not just for me, but for my brother, for Haru. We need to stop the Master. Stop him? How are we supposed to stop him? I don't know, but we can't just stay here and do nothing. I did the thing again. I closed my water and didn't open it to drink back. More than anything, I don't want to leave Haru all alone. Miyuki. Besides, if the other's world falls apart, I doubt this one will fare much better. You're right. I know you're right, but... Whatever's happening, it's big. Big enough that it could mean the end of both worlds. To be honest, I'm scared. I can't imagine what I might be able to do to stop it. But Miyuki wants to go back. She wants to save her brother. But it's not like I want to just abandon the others. I want to save them too. But I don't see how I can. I don't have that kind of strength. I'm just a kid. I don't have superpowers. How am I supposed to save the world? But can I really turn my back on Miyuki? What am I supposed to do? Can't leave them! No, Miyuki. I don't want to abandon the others either. I want to save them. So does that, mean, does that mean you'll help? Here's the thing. I don't know anything I can do that can possibly make the difference. I'm just an ordinary kid. I didn't inherit, inherit any special powers like you. Sure, I fought with all I had in the other world, but really, when you get down to it... You've got Agumon, don't you? Haven't the two of you always found some way to raise to the challenge? He's right. Every challenge I've faced so far, I've been able to overcome with Agumon at my side. Why should this be any different? It shouldn't be, really. I know it shouldn't, but I don't know. I feel like somehow coming back to this world turned me into a coward. Takuma, please. We need to get to Agumon before he does something dumb. I just don't know what I should do. Takuma. Takuma, is that you? What? It is you! You're okay! A teacher! Why didn't you check in with someone? Did you know how hard we've been looking for you? Maybe you haven't heard, but some students may have gone missing. It's terrible. Uh, sorry. You were in the group of Minoru, weren't you? What happened to the others? If that's a question that needs answering, then they probably didn't make it back. I thought I had much hope they did. And who is this girl? Oh, I'm, uh... Oh, no! Actually, I got separated from the others. I wound up completely lost, so I had this girl show me the way back. Isn't that right? Oh, yes, that's what happened. I lived nearby, so I knew the way. I see. Well, even if it's just you, Takuma, I'm glad you made it back safe. I hope the others are okay, too. The teachers must all be convinced that the others got caught in the landslide. Listen, Takuma, I want you to wait here in the school for a little while, okay? You too, miss. It's probably best if you stick around until things settle down. I can't believe this is happening. The landslide alone would have been bad enough. Wait, you mean something else happened besides the landslide? Yeah, some talking bear monster thing apparently showed up near the old shrine. Apparently it's caused quite the scene. A monster? But how? Oh, I'm sure it can't actually speak. That has some kind of mistake. The witnesses must have been scared out of their minds. Considering the timing of those reports, I wonder. A strange... Win bear monster, please don't be Windigo Mon, please don't be Windigo Mon, please don't be Windigo Mon. That couldn't be Agumon, could it? No, no, Agumon's hiding nearby. Which only leaves one other possible. Takuma, you don't think? Yuki's face just went up. Why does a sheet? Oh, this is bad. I don't like this at all. Could this really be who I think it is? It's either Piedmon or it's Windigo. I have a bad feeling about this. Hold on, we can't be sure of anything yet. For all we know, it could be Minoru and Falcomon, or many of the others. But if it were, don't you think they'd know to avoid attracting attention like we did? She's right. Besides, if we really didn't come back alone, there was only one other monster nearby. Do you really think it's him? What's gotten to you two? If you're worried about something, you know you can tell me. Yuki, we need to be sure. Right. Hey, where do you think you're going? Sorry, but we really have to go. First, we need to get back to where we left Agumon. Agumon, oh, sorry that took so long. Hooray, you're back! I got so tired of waiting. We'll have to talk later. Right now we need to hurry back to the shrine. What? Why? What's going on? Come on, Agumon, let's go! Fucking Piedmon. Hey, Takuma, is that you? You made it! Have to run. Whoa, what's the rush? Takuma, Miyuki, wait up! What the? What was that? That didn't look like a costume. Monogamy in the real world. Uh, uh, what was that just now? Until oh, some kind of monster. Obviously, it was on a rampage. Takuma, did you hear that? Sure did. Not a good sign. We should pick up the pace. Hey, stop! You two really don't want to go that way. Takuma, Miyuki, slow down! What's going on? Uh, it's another monster. 
Can we just pick up Agumon and run? What? Agumon, are you okay? I got worked up. I tripped over my own feet, but yeah, I'm all right. Hey, there, what are you rushing off to? You don't want to get that way. It's dangerous. Come on, we have to hurry. I know, just a second. You look like a Phil. Are you all right? Come on. Don't worry. The Gomer's got me, so everything's fine. Oh, it's a monster. Stay back. Oh, we don't have time for this. Miyuki, Agumon, let's go. How many dead people will there be? What is this place? Where am I? What is going on? Is that some sort of cosplay? Everyone stay back. This area is unstable and even the inner shrine has collapsed. Humans. And so many of them. What's going on? I was swallowed up by the maelstrom and then the master. Did he but... Piedmon, would you like to join me? <laughs> Who is that? What's going on? Sir, I'm not sure what you're doing, but I want you to turn around and come quietly. Ah, enough! He's dead. Takuma, did you hear that? And I know this feeling. Takuma, there's an enemy up ahead! Damn it, that's just what I hoped wasn't happening. Takuma, look! It was Piedmon. He's here in this world. Only something's not right. He's covered in wounds and he looks absolutely furious. Oh no, this is awful. The shrine's completely collapsed. Even the inner shrine must be it must have been destroyed. The inner shrine? What's that got to do anything? Is there something important inside it? But I shouldn't get distracted. Right now we need to find a way to deal with Piedmon. Hey kids, this place is dangerous. Stay back! This is bad. Huh? Back! Everyone get back! How can this be? Master, did I not serve you well? Why is this to be my fate? Piedmon. Miyuki, stay back. He's out of his mind. Piedmon, you're wrong. Wrong? How am I wrong? Your master, he's not what you think. Do not speak such lies! Piedmon's about to attack. Agumon, get in there! I don't know if I'm strong enough to protect Miyuki myself, but I know someone who is. Oh, come on, please! You have to protect Miyuki! You got it, Takuma! I'll do anything you ask! <laughs> Miyuki, over here now! Traitorous human lackey. Does your treachery know no bounds? You will pay for thwarting me just now. Please, would you just hear me out? I don't know what you hope to accomplish with your trickery, but it isn't going to work. You've got it all wrong. All I want, for you is, all I want is for you to listen to me. Yuki, stay back. But I need to get through to him. Does she really think she convinced Piedmon? I don't think she, she has a chance. I'm going to drag you back and regain my master's favor. That's not how it works. That's what I've been trying to tell you. More lies. Believe me, I know. The whole time my soul was lost, I saw the world as your master did. He never cared about you to begin with. Lies and deceit. Why should I believe you? You speak only in falsehoods. Not a word you say is true. I will stand. I will not stand for such blasphemy against the master. It's no use. Any more of this will only make things worse. We have to stop Piedmon now. Agumon. On it, Takuma. Ready to fight whenever you see the word. I will start by slaughtering these pests, and then I will return you to the master, maiden. Here he comes, Takuma. Right. I don't see any way around a fight now. I can save my second thoughts for later. Agumon, we're doing this. So we're actually fighting in the real world. This is Digimon Adventure. Much, much darker, but Digimon Adventure nonetheless. Are we going to get perfect? Oh, this is crazy. Can you believe this? You think this is for a movie or something? No way, it's gotta be real. That smaller one could possibly be a fake. Hold on, let me get some pictures. Hey, you three, this place is dangerous. You shouldn't be here. Go take shelter. Damn it, I was hoping... Oh, this is bad. I have not leveled up anyone. Very bad. Well, goes to show how I fucked up. Let's try.
Try and draw them all in. I was hoping that we would go perfect. Because the thing is... Wait, please say that he's weak. He is not fucking weak. Honestly, I am... Hmm. Hide back here for now. Once that guy's dead... That was unreal! It's so freaking cool! It's like something straight off a movie! Ah, this is the last thing I need right now! Hey, let's get closer so we can take a video! Sweet, this is gonna blow up on social media for sure! Okay, good, he's running. Oh, he's gonna go kill the humans. Take this! Oh, that was a close one! I almost got hit! Max, watch out for that debris! Everyone stay back! This is really dangerous, so you need to keep your distance! Down here to smiggity smack the chest. Because the thing is, he's very close to. Hmm, his meteor wing still only a one height. We'll do hardly anything. So I definitely need to level these guys up some. Dang it, he's not dead. Can I talk to anyone? Nope. At least I can all... I forgot to do the talky talk thing to anyone else. Well, first, let's see. I don't want to get that close to Piedmon. But I will lure them in, one by one. Okay, good. He went for the big, chunky boy. Heal him. Uh, you are too weak. Stay back. Okay, get rid of you. I could do the atomic blaster on them. Kill them! Hope that doesn't trigger him. We have lots of ribs, so... Uh, but... It's not enough just yet. But he should... Keep up just in case as a... Item user. Is that gonna activate Piedmon? Maybe I can get a uh, atomic blaster ready to go. Yeah, 
Because these guys are not going to be much help in the combat area of things. Very scared. Item giver, give items. That's basically what they are. He gained so much SP. Huh, he's not, he doesn't have any movement. Okay, maybe because he goes first. But no, you should still tell me. Take this. I don't want to get too close. So I can't play around it. Another atomic blaster for your trouble. Dang it, miss. All right. I don't want to use like uh, much health. That raises quite a lot, but I only have five of them. I don't want to do a. Uh, hmm. How much does that raise? I know. Uh, all-purpose ointment. And then he can big bandage it. Pick your poison. God damn you. I forgot to do the talk again. Why am I keeping missing, game? Quit cheesing me. All of my big bandages are going to be gone because of this boss fight. The miss percentage is way fun and I keep forgetting to do that. I'm just gonna do it now. I keep forgetting to get damn do that. Wait, could we have uh no we can't have gone to behind him. Let's go for it. Oh, that's uh. fucked. That is very rude that he has a counterattack. I basically have to do that if I don't want him to die. Survive, my boy. I'm gonna go for the biggest of bigs. Friggin' die, dude. I should have done that before, but I kept forgetting to do the talk. Because I just, I never do it. But hey, he's gone. Maybe he's finally dead. And hey, those two are going to be super leveled up now. Good for you.
Another perfect... I forgot to add more ability point thingies. Stats. We, we won? Koma, I did it! I beat Piedmon! Yeah, way to go, Agumon! Piedmon is absolutely covered in wounds. He probably can't even move anymore. But is it safe to just leave him like that? Then again, I don't really want to kill him. Takuma, Agumon, look at Piedmon! Huh? He actually got back up, even with all those wounds! How does he still have the strength? That's some determination. Oh, dare you. Uh, I don't like the way he's glaring at us right now, Takuma. What do we do? Are we gonna go perfect? Can we? What can we do? This might be more than the two of us can handle. Don't worry about me. For you, Takuma, I could keep fighting forever. Agumon. I know he means it, but he can he can't go on like this. He took a lot of damage in that fight, and I don't have the heart to put him through anymore. Is this all we can manage on our own? Without the others, are we not good enough? Don't give up, you two! Miyuki? I'm, no, I'm gonna open the door. When I do, you take care of Piedmon. Seriously? A cursed maiden. What are you scheming now? And begin singing. It's that song. The same song I heard in the music room. Your voice is so pretty, Miyuki. The wind's starting to pick up. Come on, look. There's some sort of light. It's just like before. The same white light I saw when Miyuki saved us in the music room is growing again. It's also the thing that Haru went through. What is this white light? Is this the power of the maiden? Takuma, now! Oh, I get it. We can force Piedmon inside. Charge! What is this? Can't you tell? We're sending you back to your world! Stop it! No! We did it. Takuma, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. Well, that solves our immediate problem, but... That doorway is still there. I know what that means. But I find myself unable to say anything. Takuma, I've made up my mind. You're gonna head through? Made up your mind to do what? Do you remember what I said when the shrine had collapsed? You mean about the inner shrine being destroyed? Yeah, that shrine is very important to the master. Its presence has helped keep some of his power in check until now. But if it's been destroyed, it won't be long before the entire island is covered in fog. The entire island? But that would mean... Oh, our friends are going to get swallowed up by the scary fog! We're running out of time, both in this world and the other one. If we don't do something, whatever happens is sure to have huge effects on this world. So what am I supposed to do? I need you to help me. I want to protect this world. I want to save everyone. Hey, I do too! I wanted to do that since the beginning, but the game didn't let me. This world needs to be protected. So do our friends, more than anything, and so do I. After all, I'm sure the master wants to take me back. Miyuki, I... Takuma! What should I do? What can I do? Part of me wants to save the world like Miyuki says, but I know how hard that's going to be. And again, if I don't do anything, I'll be turning my back on all my friends. They've done so much for me. I'd hate to just abandon them. But am I really up to taking on something that could mean the end of the... Well, look at it this way. We're one of the few people that can actually do anything about it anyway. Besides, I never asked to go to that other world. I got dragged in without a choice. And now that I'm finally free of that awful death trap, I'm supposed to go back? For all I know, that could cost me my life. I don't know if I'm prepared for that. Takuma. Takuma. Agumon. That's right, if I gave up now, I'd also be giving up on Agumon. And that's definitely not something I want to do. He means so much to me. The br path branches off here. The path branches? <laughs> Be true to my friends. You know, I've been trying to figure out what to do. I can't leave my friends who fought by my side stuck in that other world. Not while I'm here safe and sound. That just wouldn't be right. I've decided. I can't turn my back on my friends. Katakoma! Does that mean you'll go back? Every time we've been in a dangerous situation, our friends were there to help. If our friends are in danger this time, that just means it's our turn to help them out. So we need to go back to that world, back to our friends, and defeat the Master. 
Yes, you're right. Thanks, Takuma. That's just how I feel. You've all helped me so much. This time I want to return the favor by fighting at your side. So what can we save the other? So that we can save the others and protect my little brother. Right. And I'll do whatever I can to help. I wonder what all the people watching were thinking or if they ran away. So what's our next step? It's easy. We jump into the white light and go back to the other world. Isn't that right, Miyuki? That's right. We should all hold hands so we don't get separated. What? Well, what a time to get a phone call. It's from my mom. It's funny, the whole time we've been back, I completely forgot I had my cell phone. Isn't the best time for a call, though. Ah, it's still ringing. Sorry, give me a minute. No need to panic, Takuma. Hello, Mom? Takuma, it's me. I just wanted to check when you're coming back. Was it tomorrow or the day after? And I remember how I thought she was so annoying when I was getting ready to go. Now it feels like it's been ages since we talked. It's so good to hear her voice. I don't know what I did that schedule, and I was worried about you forgetting stuff. It's... it's tomorrow. I'll be home tomorrow, I promise. Uh, you shouldn't call me just to check on that. You're... you're so hopeless, Mom. Takuma, why are you crying? Is something wrong? Of course not. Why would I be crying? Takuma, you can tell me. It's okay to cry if you're feeling lonely. Really, sometimes I think you'll never grow up. Tell you what, tomorrow night we'll have curry for dinner. I know it's your favorite. Curry? That's right. Now cheer up. It's just one more day, so give it all you've got. All right, I will. I'll come back tomorrow no matter what, I promise. It's weird, but somehow it feels like my mom really is cheering me on. She sure is something else. My friends mean a lot, but I need to protect her and everyone else in this world too. So that's what I'm going to do. Me and Algamon together. I have to survive so I can go home to eat curry! Sorry, Miyuki, I've gotta take something back that I said. What? I said I'd help you before, but that wasn't quite right. Because I'm in this too. We're gonna save these worlds together. Let's do this! Yeah, and don't forget me! We're all in this together! Takuma, Agumon, I don't know how to thank you. Alright, now let's go. Back to that other world where our friends are waiting for us. Holding hands, we all leapt together in the shining doorway of light. Saving the world isn't going to be easy. My legs felt weak just thinking about it. But with Agumon's hand in mine, firmly drawing me forward, I took the first step. She has returned, I can feel it. The maiden steps once more to this world. This time, she will become my vessel. Oh, that was a whole chapter. I got so engrossed that I didn't even think that was gonna be a whole part. And note to self, don't fucking save over part one. Save one. I found them! Found one. Also, but what about that dead uh, police officer? <laughs> what, my sister? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You're safe now. Did you and your sister get separated? Yeah, please, save my sister. Save her, you say. Did one of those beasts attack her? Uh, you're wrong. Those guys are like fog. I fell in a weird place. That's why I... Just my sister is in trouble, okay? Weird place. Hey, don't take it seriously. People see all kinds of things in moments of desperation. I really saw it. Poor thing. Must have been scared to death. Won't they believe me? Well, at any rate, look. Let's look for the sister. Yeah, let's go. And that probably didn't help his psych. His psych. Psyche. Are we gonna open up on the professor? Or are we just gonna jump on through? Why won't anyone believe me? I knew I should have ran away with her when I had the chance. Sis, where are you? I can't believe we had to fight fucking Piedmon twice. Professor! Professor! Oh, I was... 
least you were unconscious. Like your body was here, but not your mind. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Did Piedmont come back? What are you up to, Mew? Hurry up and run! I know, I know. Don't rush me. Hey, Professor, can you move? Yes, I can. How pathetic having children worrying about me. Perhaps I could learn a thing or two from that Kaito boy. From that, Brad, I wouldn't recommend it. If my brother's busy botanist infected you too, I couldn't take it. Still, at times I <laughs> like this, he's pretty handy, I guess. But only at times like this. Uh, I can hear you, Mew. She trusts him despite the rough language in comparison. I'm just... Shoot! Professor? Uh, forgive me for startling you. Well, she has enough energy to talk trash, so I guess that's a good thing. You guys ready? It's about time to head out. Word. Let's head straight to the underpass. Don't fall behind. Yes, let's go. I wonder how long it's been for them. Not too long, does... My sister, I... It seems like maybe not even a day has passed for them, because if we... Like, that could have all been in 30 minutes for us coming back to the real world and running back. Kuma! Kuma! Wake up, Takuma! Uh, hey, Takuma! Wake up! Please don't tell me you got separated from Miyuki again. Fog. Fog! Ah! Agumon, this is... It's my world! We made it back! I see. So we did it. And what about Miyuki? Miyuki? I haven't seen her. I mean, just look around! Fog, 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 fog. Oh, the fog this thick. We can't see a thing. I don't think it was this thick before. We have to get out of here, Tacoma. It's getting thicker by the second. Yeah, you're right. But what about Miyuki? I heard something in the grass. Is something there? What sound? Yeah, sorry, come on. I know we just got back, but... No worries. I'll fight whatever comes to us. Can't let our guard down here. One wrong move could spell the end of this world. It's getting closer. Here it comes. Yeah. Is someone there? Tacoma, that voice! Oh, it sounds like someone's there. Must be my imagination. Minoru! Takuma? You're alive? Oh, I thought we'd never see you again! You're hugging me too tightly! Tough cookies! This is what an emotional reunion looks like, man! What is it, Minoru? Did I hear you call out uh, Takuma's name just now? Oh, it was Falcomon. I mix up the voices because I don't listen to them too much. Oh, it's you, Falcomon! Falcomon! And you as well, Takuma! So you survived, after all! This is great! Really? I have no idea! I thought for sure that... Alright, alright, I get it! Hey, where's everybody else? They're all safe, don't worry! Ali and Kaido, Miu and Saki, the professor? Labramon and Drakmon as well, of course. What about Miyuki? Oh, um, you haven't run into her? Um, no, haven't seen her. That's not how you say this, because remember, from his perspective, last he saw, she was on the, the the sacrifice table. You have seen her since he last saw you. I see, I'll save the explanation for later. For now, let's go meet up with everybody. Everyone's gonna flip when they see you're still alive and kicking. Okay, let's go. I was gonna flip if what we ran into was fucking Windigomon. Oh, no. They're back. Please don't kill me. Surprise! I'm alive! Takuma? Is that really you, Takuma? Oh, you're safe! Honestly, I thought you were kaput. Heidi ho, guys! What do you mean, Heidi ho? We were worried sick about you. Oh, it's great to know the two of you are safe. Looks like I caused you guys some grief. Looks like, he says. What the heck you've been hiding this whole time? Jeez, and here we are, wringing our hands over here. Now, now, the important thing is that he's safe and sound, right? That won't do, right, Takuma? What happened to you after you got separated from us in the factory? Tell us about the past ten days. Huh, wait, did you say ten days? Yes, that's what I said. Is something wrong? T ten days? We were only gone for a few hours, though. Does time move that quickly here? Please tell us in as much detail as possible. Give him a break, Owie. But in any detail, maybe the difference between life and death for us, you know. Um, Owie? What's this insistence, Owie? Have you changed somehow? I understand your confusion, Takuma. Many things have happened in your absence. 
Oh, he has become a de facto leader, as it were. He is more like a mother hen than a leader, if you ask me. Better than Kaido's usual cuddle. I feel less hen packed with, with the mother hen. Quiet, you two. We're having a serious conversation right now. Please, Takuma, your answer? Sure, I'll talk. Truth is... We went back to the real world. We were only gone for a few hours. You went back to our world? Yeah, but I was the only I'm only over there for a few hours. That's why I was surprised to hear over a week has passed over here. Time flows differently in this world and the other one. Like the tale of Urashi Matero. Wow, so that's how it is. I don't know much about time flowing differently here and there. But if 10 days over here was only a few hours back in our world, that means time flows slower here, right? Oh, I think I get it. Maybe that means as long as I stay here, sucky. Yeah, because from the diddly D that we picked up, oh, back in the nightmare times, you know, before Shuji died, we picked up that uh, medical clipboard. I'm cool, Florma. Don't sweat it. Yeah, I hear you. I'm happy to see everyone's got back safely. Indeed, although to call us safe now is a bit of a stretch. Things are that bad. The fog is getting thicker by the day, almost as if it's hunting us down. One thing's for sure, it's only a matter of time before it consumes the school. Hey, one thing's bothering me. If you're able to get back to our world, why'd you come back here? We saw Piedmont going on a rampage through the other world. What? That jerk is going around with you guys' world too now? So the situation is no longer limited to this world, is it? Yeah, at this rate, our world's gonna be in danger, too. This fog-covered world is corrupting the world we came from. That's why I came back. I don't know if I can save everyone, much less the whole world, but... I couldn't just sit by and act like nothing's happening. That's Takuma for you, my man! Takuma, what a guy! So you just came back here on your own? Kaido! Not quite. It took a lot to get back here and... I got separated from Miyuki. She holds the key to, to it all. Miyuki? Yuki holds the key? What do you mean? Yuki's already done for, I think. I wouldn't count on her if I were you. Don't say that! We're friends! We have to hear the details! Quiet, Mew! I'm saying this for your sake! Alright, enough of that! Takuma, please, tell us what you mean about Miyuki and the key she holds. Um, how do I explain it? Maybe I should talk about how the worlds are connected first, then about Miyuki's song? Wait, I can't explain her power if I don't talk about Menasei family first. Is that too confusing, though? Maybe talking about Piedmon at the, and the gate would be easier. Alright. Keep part one. I'll start off the gate. Oh, that's wrathfulness? Dang it, game. You do the thing again! I don't want to level up my wrathfulness. The worlds are connected. Sure, a song that Miyuki knows is needed to return to our world. I don't know how she does it, but it seems like her song connects the two worlds. Connects the worlds. It seems this, this it seems that this world and our own affect each other somehow. The shrine caused a landslide in our world. Then there was that cable car accident. Miyuki said that the worlds exist side by side, so you can open gates between them. Interesting. All the more reason for us to get Miyuki back then. You think that you can do it? We ha we have to. We have to. Why don't you get it? I don't want to put you in danger. Don't you want to go home, Kaido? Because I do, with you and everyone. Yeah, I get it, but that's why I... Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Takuma. We're at the end of our rope here. Still, I'm happy you came back for us. We've been very discouraged lately. I had no idea time flowed like that here. Anyway, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. No need to apologize. Let's rest for a bit, then return to the uh, question of Miyuki. Why don't you get it, Mew? You're the one who doesn't get it, Kaido! Come on, Kaido, chill out already! Mew, calm down a bit, okay? Right, you two, that's enough. Why don't we take a break, everyone? Takuma's just got back after all. I'll put together an extra fancy lunch today, okay? Yeah, right. Okay. Oh, hey, I'll lend you a hand. Me too, I'll help out. Ah, uh, well, if Saki's up for it, then us, so am I. Thanks, guys, that's a big help. Well, then you all behave yourselves until we're done, okay? Is something wrong with the professor? Now the question is, where's Garurumon? Where's Renamon? Where's Miyuki? Please, no badness.
And I think after all of that craziness, let's stop there for now, because we did a lot! We did a lot. We did a diddly lot. We did a diddly 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 lot. Okay, what happened this time? We invaded the enemy's base. We invaded the enemy's base. We beat Piedmon. We fell back to our world with Miyuki, and Miyuki is whole again because the master was holding on to part of her soul. How she existed with part of a soul and how she got it back, I don't freaking know. And uh, now Piedmon's back in this world after we kicked him through a freaking portal, and it seemed like Takuma did that. And uh, we need to save the world and go home for curry. Utter madness and craziness, I love this game. The music is great, the characters are great, the story is great, I love this game. I almost wish it was an anime, but at the same time... Doing this is great. Utterly amazing. Def also, I find it kind of hilarious that my rickety free party only had to exist for one fight with Piedmon, who luckily was nerfed in that he refused to move. So if I had just kind of hid behind the rock and bum-rushed him, I probably would have done more damage and finished him quickly, but he could have counterattacked. That's always scary. I can't wait until we get our perfect evolutions. Hmm, that's actually a thing. Have we been digivolving every... Th it seems to be that... Hmm, so I think in Chapter 1, we digivolved Tyranimon. Then in Chapter 2, Labramon digivolved. Then in Chapter 3... Wait, no, Falcomon digivolved. When did he digivolve? My brain is turning to mush when it comes to parts, but... I'm trying to think if I can, like, foresee the future. But yeah, we have to be nearing the end. Maybe this game is 12 parts long? Because each time it goes like, ooh, ink blots, and then it's like, ooh, memories of people. Each time that happens, it's beginning a new part. Just my avatar covers up the part part. <laughs> but, yeah, this game is crazy. Utterly love it. It hits me in my emotions. I love it. But yes, but yes. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have a YouTube channel where all these streams eventually end up, called Neon Icy Games on YouTube. Up there, you can find playthroughs of... Mass Effect 1 through 3, Undertale, Kirby and the Forgotten Lands, as well as currently this, and eventually I'll have to start uploading uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. But I'm just going to say it. Aside from a few odd, like, uh, translation issues, or maybe not translate, eh, like a few oddities when it comes to the translation and localization, this is miles ahead of Cyber Sleuth. I'm sorry, Cyber Sleuth. I like the Digivolving mid combat. The localization feels better. They don't fucking accidentally use the word Bakemon when talking about monsters. Blech. But yes, uh, should be uploading that eventually, but this game came out and I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this then. Because apparently there's still a fucking lot of cyber to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if you want more streams that I've done in the past, you can see them all at Twitch. Not Twitch. Don't save streams on the streaming site, despite you think you would. But at YouTube, Neon Icy Games. Then, if you want to watch me play these games live, you there people watching these here archives, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neon icy wings. And if you want to see more art of mine, like my little corner avatar, you can see me post art to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. I need to draw more and actually finish pictures but a brain. But yes, but yes, thank you very much everybody for watching and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.